Ja sabre and an ayah sawa maji mejo e de nache se jano asoko niya ma e chegu e wa be fun ten sa ifi di ene su di obi an tu min kanu di obi a suro no e na na sabre di an ayah sawa maji mejo a jase me ba be pensem pensemu na ma tu janso e de amano wana wa sefata se mi tu ja e de ma wamo ende e nyumbre me shwe se onyan subscribe to the channel la na wa subscribe e de ama mi wubi awe mi adoma no so se de be ya video bi e de betun bi ano u be nya notification na onsu we hu de e koso na ne de su amate na si de e hey en sam ne de e busi a e do su ye papa papa na mu be kai a de bi ano me betena se ya na asem a me kan se ase de alan ko jo chairman ti o fi e bp party ni mu no me kan se first two months na na de o chire se yes mi a mi ni e na de o ye work ni ade but fit december e ba be si february as alan ko jo chairman te wati ada me to be to two jani be the body sa me and my chance and massa jaya massa na be kenya wo hona mp before the shege wamo bo wamo hu kakrado wamo hu say yes we feel mp piyama yoko wani muni ni aman tenda sa 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 mp before wamo kasado do nala ko jo chairman say ena ye de ba kwe kya don ko kwa ba wo kwa ane kya don ko be two ni adi enti peja wamo na swale ha so I'm ready. 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 No, 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 no na che se 2024 election ni die e mu ba di ye papa papa o se so kra che ni se mu se npp fo na wo ma dwen ye o mu se ono ala ko jo che mante no o ntumi nye bibia no mu bu akra no be shock him o he go shock price all of you but wo ma be ka se ye ye hu ya ka ya ma ala na free party ni bo na so e be dru honom no na ye too late mu ma ye nko na ye nko tie ni nko ma che so de ba bo nte no e mra se se a Mm. I'm telling you, sir, people would have a big shock. Mm. You will be have, you'll have a big shock. If you say, oh, uh, we'll say, I'll mm -hmm. But people uh, don't appreciate, you say, I've been a dominant figure in Ghanaian politics, not just MPP politics, in Ghanaian politics. There's no village or town in Ghana, and I name it, you name me either by facial recognition. Or by me, mm. no village in Kadakura, service your woman in your bond there. You know, and I am not a when you are fena, I said, made by policy, mm. but equally importantly, no, so mistake in Kofor, and he said, almost say you were two dominant parties. Sure, I'm telling you, MPP, any NDC, or more registered members, and with my case, a year call members, and almost a year, dear, on the trauma parties. Omo nye more than one million for both parties. Opa check if yet. Omo a true omo din. Omo ye omo chair juice omo ye registered members. Omo no one million for both parties. One million, one million. Make I say one million, one million. Okay. Enti say MPP call general election. Na nipa six point five million to abamuama. Five million no ah a year more than 
one million na e yom register. Omo ye sympathizers. Anna do do na so so e floating voters. The same thing for the NDC. For the NDC. And the, uh, those who are saying so, Alan, they are deceiving them because women are arithmetic. No? Is that what you are saying? Mm. The core members now make a new Even within MPP, say, say, who be say, own country, because Ghana force any at here. One country will be an original one. There's no art to find the mines construction, construction from the face. Now, would you enter in your general election? Because I don't know, could be a free party. Too, yes, my free party. Party is stronghold. I sent him. Argentina almost like uh, uh, one month of the not meet me. Ya could draw now. Me call a sanctuary. I sent him. Reading no, Missy Quamu. Some make us say, May I help to work? Shady pie to buy it. I just said, Way and yet she can't now. Would come will be said, Omro. Say, Way cramp on seventy per cent of Nipa. A was anti regional on person of background. Omoka quem, Omunia Peca, but Roman to me. If you say, I don't want anybody to travel from any part of Ghana, so about what can it be? Where they say, Yeah, yeah, my Asante region, yeah, we are Mesako, other regions. Asante region, even Asante region, they say, Omo were greater Kumasepe. Men Pese will be a war of fame, so near in the Mokran and Mr. Mamma have on. Where they just metropolitan, metropolitan area. One only pay by seventy percent. No matter how much, ah, we money can't even go many cars. And see, me, me, say God has ordered my steps mm. right from the beginning. Even I'm a catcher. At the age of four, work uh, class one. At the age of nine, me call a uh, 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 secondary school. Uh, I saw twenty two. Me, uh, I had a distinguished record with USC. We be on him the other country of the free moon, the bar, a public sector. Uh, and son, I you and so I have a distinguished record. Mm. And son, I'm about politics. I'm so so no, I don't MPP. I came 92. I start here. I was the chairman of the young executive forum. I'm right here. What could we now? Oh, my baby ministers. Oh, my, I'm not my own chairman. From Barredu of Blessed Memory, I come to Japan. Courage Kashiga, Makmenu, Maria, you know, or two for Maria, you know, or Sebonsu, a show. Oh, my God! Young executive from Omo Free Mobile. Oh, my God! Ninety-two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bank Rolu party. So what I say? Eighty. I mean, the Oshirame. But but you've also heard say. Say two major parties next start your campaign, giddy giddy. Yeah. Movement will be lost in the picture. What is uncommon? Well, Omo, at them, Omo, Omo. Say, I tell them, I tell them, I tell them, till the last point I made, ma, what can I, or what I say, they say, they say, when we registered members, ah, Omo, no better than I can't do, I know my country. Between where we are, where we are, what can you know? Sympathizers and floating voters. Do, do, they are not speaking, but the entire me person who are convinced about their mechanism. Who them the entire age is one million. If you say do do on a age between eighteen and thirty five, one will say you are twelve ano, almost sixty percent age between eighteen and thirty five. Last a year election a year out of seventeen million, over nine point something million. And age between 18 and 35. And 35. Sani pay women in Ahano, they have no attachment, sentimental attachment to, a to either NDC or MPP. Hey, you know, I'm going to say, Oba, if you have a MPP, Oba, also Oba, also Oba, NDC, Oba, also Kra, I'm going to Oba. That is the group of women in the LED movement. You know? mm. And if she has a woman in the world base, maybe base is bigger than, uh, than the, the political the, party, the, the true party. political party. If you say, you know, a woman had also almost soon. I will say both parties over 32 years. Oh, what years from every age man at all years school five years. Only a man, yeah, was a baraka to another government. And see, sir, 18 to 35 say, say, oh, what's that? Say, oh, so more per se, oh, we have regular members, oh, we have regular members. Sir, nine million, oh, more per se, oh, we have regular members. Oh, my cosign, oh, we didn't wait. It's not a common numbers in the because. 
they see in Alan Chamartin and the movement, you know, the new hope for Ghana. Mm. If it's almost say, hey, Ghana, your problem are AM, you know, how to fix the economy and how to deal with corruption. So your problems be no no. I know man who a juma my year before me about politics about how to deal with private sector economy. Yes. Me about politics one more who a kufu abraso a kufu atu abraso. You know man who. Enti ope opia or what practical experience and exposure internationally and locally to deal with making sure say we bring the economy back to life. I want to say. Me and a bit compared to one more, 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 one Oh, come on, sir. <laughs> but, but the final claim I'm on for you, so you respond to that near the Abbey. And they say, Alan, in the movement, they concentrate your more campaign, the Brina Washante region, mm -hmm. just to reduce MPP full vote. What is our seminar? Oh, who would you kind of but also they can say, mm -hmm. uh, if you are not on our kind, I'm sorry. Okay. But the American is say, may me campaign me a, a national campaign. Okay. Now, obviously, Ashanti region. In Ghanaian politics, are you very secure critical because sure. of the numbers? Sure, so what I say, sure. And now, my father said, I'm also so enemy home region. Mm -hmm. I don't think some may be quite a bit of a root. I said, that's a hope in me base, even within MPP. No money, I didn't say if you talk about votes in voter region, Alan, Alan, and the DA in central region, are the same thing, even in the five northern regions. Even in the five northern regions, so I find the campaign about. Now, so we see the five northern regions are. And yet delegates, you see, this is the mistake people are making. And yet delegates, delegates are. Sebi, sebi, sebi. Nipa bi e di wakosha abo mu e kuto abo. That's why we are we are talking about the general election. There's nowhere in Ghana, no region, yeah, Zanzibar region, kwa. Ah, so me, yeah, yeah, general, so we pay wa. Nipa no. And some MP Jamie. I would say, Bibia, when the time comes now, there's a time and season for, for everything. Oh, the dirty Mammy Diano, I feel a page more. No, say people are tired of MPP, mm. people are tired of NDC, they are looking for an alternative. As I mean, I mean, child, yeah, woman, you'll be sure, were you experienced politician, or you're competent, or what vision, and or say you're honest. I know you're selfless, so go be a name. Me a servant leader, so be a servant leader. And he said, that's what they see me. Now as a guy now for no, you ain't said ah, who who not join that? Now, now me be. I'm on for being a shock of the. Obi asu be didi. Apache. Obi asu be didi. I made me the answer the one can no. They say. <laughs> Jobs and cash economy for for Obi Abe Didi. Peche. Obi Abe Didi. Obi Abe Didi. Obi Abe Didi. Me da me da se me da se. Papa Papa Iti. Because I was saying, mafia mobile ni. Mafia. Alan Kojo Chairman saying, "Eni akwa kuti eno abano si he." Ono di a corruption di de bi Obi Enu ya si ajo se Obi tu mi aboni din so Alan Kojo Chairman saying he corrupt. On red run no way people are money to no more crano. Sike be no one more than a sakaya dan a yano fajas. One more de pen nepe pay calculation one minus one plus two plus three divided by four no be one not just said yeah. One more the bear ten thousand gana si this ashore mobile tomono. Or no one be yet be da and on ye be so da. And we need and wet you crano. Five northern regions in the crown at Wahonomono. Or no Alan could your chairman take us any votes at Wahonom and yet delegate a seven or come. Or can you promote a case of mono? Or no crown that just so to be bua 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 mo anu ane that just na ema MPP to be win election na there are several or no a case of what's in a one just so independent in the forget you be a MPP and this Ghanians are tired in the day. Alan Kamu no me no na be the one that says we are tired of NPP 
We are tired of NDC. Mama ba no de de salva be fa ye tire ho no abe pra pra ye fie fie o be ka ye ba nku ni ade nyina no na de se tirima ye de su o papa we o vision ya kwato aba de fa ma no o be ba ba tira so na de guess guess in semia u yo no fru ho no ma ba o mi akwa de meka ni se fie aso oba but e fie aso na oba kra na o she nanado na danado na ku ekufu ado she ne na ase wo mu mi enu ina na je se de wo mu ma de ekoso wo ma yi mu ina ekoso wa ne minu mi enu ye du ho adanse for me, need your baby sound said you shy, yeah, my land could your chairman thing. Yeah, man, a chance on umbra. Make us say, Me, me, wow, what shame would your mammy de can be so? Me, because Alan de Asamo. Alan, so now, oh, yeah, you, minister for you. I went, baby, I'm on your coy mo. Tourism, yes, I will be you. Oh, so quiet, baby, I have a quiet MFO. Yeah, man, a chance, Anna. Chow comment section as so they chow chow. Say jamu a minute to a save a jume di a di a minute one day didn't say yeah man lang kojo chairman say yeah man a chance no 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 sombra no a match ready a obet to me ya na na mo ma yehu but Alan he's odi yeah. Mas o dia tro o tro wi ade be hu ni se because asa ye ma adwe mu na kakra but obi wo ho no ma wo metena so a wuntu mi hu but send your car corruption as a media. Let me ask you, say, say how now we can Japan and ma, we are more independent than they are. Now can you shifting free MPP? Now you shifting free NDC. Now you are for Alan Embra. Say how so I will show me. I will show soon. I be a day. I will say you are the Alan Embra. Then can you find by Omiamba? Obey to me. I show. I will comment section. Now say by me. I meet you here. Day. Alan Mahama by Omiya Chirabosom. So I just say, what mean you na? We have to say, what mean you na? We need junior to be able. So say, the baby na ya come my God, I no cry no. Eh, my ever president to be a. They enjoy, they enjoy, they enjoy the air. Person say, what mo better na so in some na ya no what mo cano. Ye ni se spirit be soon e diye kunya ne chiro. Cause na na do pa ba better na kunya so busia. Se mo be kind se mo na na do dan ku ku fwa do kachire yeng. Ya so many na ye ye de. Or buy out or say, Ah, my first time in my for free senior high school. Me fell room when I just will be a trimunyan a day. Mahama did not free senior high school now, fat and a yard ever bought Mahama cassette. Yeah, yeah, and a ja, ye jan and now do my buy it. Oh, and I'm not to us so, and who's near in the Yagus wedge in a free senior high school. And then they said the second time, but they away and they so you, or they were your new year and a Mahama so achinity. Ah, on a swash, I say I get concerned of free senior high school. No, no, quite your bar or the barber shemukena. Oh, be a maybe a chum or the castle or the free senior high school. Nay, I dear be a jumano. I feed your whom say a jumanity or so about the barber shemukena. Tis here, me no me and reply, dear my acquaintance, I want ye be you know. Cow dear, now me come next story and so bar, the barber come in there to watch me a cow dear or comment section. I say, Eddie, a mamma, me to us so Eddie, a mamma dear. Not as I walk a cake. Ah, oh yeah, Juma Emma Honorable Kennedy, a Japan. Now, now the damn quick for the narration for like just a course, you know. Or Jay Hua, one tears, you only mean tears. Now, now the damn quick for the narration for be ya. All this we went to me, and you know what? Shanya manaka be ten months pay ya. You be you a free kunye so. And I was just saying, say we are racial for now. Just say, but we me ano ano ne ban racial for never buano. And I say racial for no em buano. And what you cry so no? You seem penifold to be with one man. Chasa racial for ne eko so no. One man shall say just say one man threaten the MC is ne DC is ne CEO is ne B. And the way he is also he make a catch and another don't go go for the same. Oh, you won't free one man. He make a catch and another don't go go for the same. On pa moon free. Now just say the one man di mu B. Eh, she 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 man full moon. The other two me and Samson no. Rafa Keke say. Eh, come here quick quick. Yes, I buy no. On the MPP members no cry no. As one man di mu a son say, Yes, she will be to send an abi ni JFK. Womo nana be ko interview, and ye be sana say, Sisi and another now quick for the sale of the vital electricity so. Asa branti and say that. It's a whole no mono, 
eno no ne ba be yanu aba be ka se vata ye dia to electricity so di ono de o mpene sokra wo mfa so ne no so e ba abo ntin be ye dede ni ade ntin e no ni ye bisa se ntin government na wo ho no mno so wo mu dwi bibi ho ana se mpeni fo na na do dan ko egu fo ado jack toronto obi ba je ke ma eh ba wo mia eni mpeni fo ni bia ke ka wo cha se wo mu dwi bibi ho so wo mu de ba ga na npp amanyo ko mpeni fo no mu wo eh national chairman national security ni wo mu wo ke ka wo secretary ni ade yin ano wo mu ni wo mu ntira si ndi nkomo ni omo so le ya no ma ba bo ntia ba be ka na yen ko na yen ko tie wo fa keke enu mu nsem emrasese a ana ko bia te ho no mba kwa bo ntin ye se di ana mo de be a dear number did by dear number, no man for a eh, 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 complaining and defeat is staring you mm. in the face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you do? And mm. see, a better than I've been on a cocaine or radio, so I eh, was right by a by a eh, other bronco and a dog. Mm -hmm. Why should it be said between a by any party and any party no crown in Kita who did be uncos and cos because. Omo omo shes masa adi eno sesa eko omo omo shes manema jise eh 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 niama eh eh niya they did it to me to say ongoing reserve here basu yao said they been more far omo they terrorize binom eh they terrorize binom already as man crawling nam some constituencies and communities and here can we minister we be you know and now this we be yeah now. Omo link reason omo de link a yino enya normal Russia for said ye me me no oh abaya ya Russia for mo ye we are they are using it as a tool to punish some people ye bet chere mo say ye ni wa ba mo ye bet chere mo say ye ni etimi ye say ye bet chere mo say and some community consequences is all over air tight ya odi ehi ni ya be di ehi ni kra 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 di ehi ni kra di ehi ano di amo ye a day na a buyer ni abre emission tax okofaba na a home to to ya home she shall ya home near ma a bay a dear Moses a motion yen ye dear Munya Mupa Bun Yagum wasum na dear Yami Yanis a president and Cassano ma directive a war sad ye way home na ya we are back because Mamunim per national security report recent years and recent times. Sabai won't train no man FM and can be a man. That is all. Mm -hmm. Baby, I'm not sorry. I knew new, new found lovers. No, mm -hmm. when national security report, just in case, in case. <laughs> they are not table because <laughs> a party for no crime. Your money that because is. you see, yeah, oh, yeah, dear, for come up. Any of you find sincerity. Now, fire, yeah, no, 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 Eh, tax nen to kwa a name and you may hear me at Yamande and Concosiku and Concosiku and yet. Let no one that Namuncia at the Papa Namun Munya Namun Mo Yanko Ponsu and Muamu, Nanya Ye, Nasa, as I've been a because of primary because of Rene, yeah, we are threatening Crawford and it's all over. And you will be afraid. Oh, yes, I be a minister's mercy. Yes, no, 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 I can't day. I can't day. Reservoir is good, but me manu nyesa a ye tool for somebody sa odi be mi ani niya niya di ehi ani niya di ehi ani emission levy ena abide ba party current mi niya di this important idea eh ni wu se eh eh na na bi mumbe kwa 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 radio so se abide we de o o de ba o de eco position and the ifri wame ya honto e inja abide oni party government it's not good for your image. And yet, so and so you can't want to say, and yet, there is a way you could have gone about it. There's a way you could have gone about it. A monkey town would be, but yeah, obi, obi, obi ministry crawl on, obo, a you obi, a hint. Sasa samno ya de ba bi a we mo na be ka me boa ya ma mo lidi kra na mo ho ka prene mo ya na mo sa kwa kwa twa twa to binum so any discuss we ya kwa mo nim sa mo boa you know you are lying mo nim sa mo boa 
Munim some of Bois, Namako Chatro, and already some people are touting themselves. <laughs> they are preparing themselves. Hey, I'm a confirmation ministry. Mm. Hey, Munkwe, Munko, Namonkoya, dear Mobe. Do the needful. Ya a dear a here. Ya dear a here. Yana make a yame, dear yame, yana say, I go through parliament. Then I said it. So parliament yeah, 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 yeah. from so yeah. 2022. Yeah. It's been the most expensive parliament to to to. So, so yes, the most expensive. Yeah, Uber Como because ten be a video near you. Ten be an acquaintance here, 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 now, oh, oh, from what you are, we say, what you are, we say, now we are doing your war. Ten be a oh, chacha, excuse me, excuse me. Obit me block or baby, because Kwan we hear here in Yandodo. And the Yama Binum, a Yama Binum, a hang parliament is the best, it's not the best to say. Because Kwan or home, and Kwan or home, be Biana by one could be Biana by one could, and to move for a whole bill at the co parliament, go through all these processes. Echo said the Anatiano, and yes, Anna, and they up, and Ramekai. Go to DVLA. Now, may have gone to DVLA. My copy key data. Okada for or more or more to to Okada so private food be more than half of them. Numbers are bobo me fake. Yeah, or more numbers here, Papa or the Okada and Bano call register. Mutus I can ban or register. A drew size as or renewal. Uncle be a video. Uncle be not in the name. There's a police for car no more the omni bachelors or who's a road word. But motor for no more no musa no more co. Into wa ube corner and one masu on the fa on the surface of a paper. Ya cost the same amount so cut afford to do say in our gana ha na imposu a levy of seventy five cities for everybody at the end of the year you are going to rake in one now better about inku about inku about you know about adopt as a policy and they are better about thing to make yourself unpopular no yeah because <laughs> 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 And Crawford Jedja. And Crawford Jedja, your democracy, no, maybe I could do no. Na ya, 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 package ya, mamma. Yeah, yeah, they are so amo. That's a chill home. That's a chill home, ya, package ya, mamma. Now, the moon, who drew a bonnet enough, I didn't know, eh, to ya. If you can also to know, and you had a papa, you have on it. Nafe, ya, genasura, but ya, it does not look good. It does not look, look good, sir. Such a sensitive idea I'm introducing in an election year. That the difference between Kadi Okada for no Etria and Edia Saloon Cast Etria and Edia Bay Cast Etria. Look, I did a bit of a Susu Fako, a year say, a come the I am fire and Samia Nuni. I come the I am fire and Samia Nuni. Obia, Obe, Obe, who we know? What do you say? A lament, not the wolf. Namo de Quaco, yet, eh? A mrebia, ye, ye, sir, ye de a talk a crabbet to a Susubia Quacoyo road way there. Now you are clear cars on the road. Now, my boy. Yeah. Let's see. Can you see that? Now, twenty cities. Ten. Oh my, I'm on for it. Sorry, Tia. I'm on for sorry, Tia. Now I cover seventy-five cities. They are two cars. Maybe three hundred. What thinking went into it? At the end, a man who who did say the same about now twenty and ten cities. Prime Minister of Transport for no more day ban. I'm on for resist. I'm on for anti me anyaku kudro and defend it. Now, what makes you think that in election year mm. you can defend 300 cities? I defend 400 cities. Ebi no mo dia ya jin sa wa mo nim nyansa dodo. Mo nyansa be brebe nyina ejanansi. 
and then a no watch a chair to a two hours or dear fruitia. Ninian Samba Brebenti, a yano de assign any no or dear fruitiano. Yasao Casangoman, a kaipa, a kaipa. Okay, I'm a man. I'm very. What did Tway say? You come. I know. Yeah, office on him. Do And the road again got that to an hour. Thank you. You are not so full. I'm see our for KK. Our age, my head, my honorable Kennedy, a Japan. Any you could see the buy. Now, what for KK? I'm going to say that. Oh, I'm going to buy that one. No one doing it. Now, buy a PP. I'm going to go to the woman doing to me before. Wamu diane wamu botomo na ye na ye di ye kokro motitu aba no e de ma wamu ni de wamu fa ye nya hwie o na wamu aga se wamu party cramp no hwe de ye koso wamu party mu na ye ya ye ti eche na je se bibia nko ye ya ye ye kasa kwa na wamu mbu wamu mbu ye wamu fa ye nya hwie en de to de ye be koso etu 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 en e wo so light cram na obetu ato Mike so light be si abapa nebi a what to prepare the crowd you go bit so what to prepare the bare hundred cities. I yes why and now watch your back. Now watch your back on the crown nebi a na eighty Ghana neko na twenty Ghana na kano bo na light na se dum nebi a wadi a wo ye pa a osan kebi a unyam fast wo free so anu abi na ujawo ye a wudi tia tuo ya wo amu so amu ne fa 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 wo amu guess iji sika kesi a kesi adu gu amu botom e ya gan esi kensu dino na chaso amu se wadi a wo ye fa wo amu isi di fa fa wo amu na ma ebe si aba ye wo na chese ye be dum light a ye mo bi a man e ye nka bi bi a chaso e se wo ye day se wo ni ama chef fridge o se day ni adu light is a free Senyo my gun and a sadi a rebel coswa, ever cosway. Senyo my mu, and a sadi him away in a bel coswa, ever cosway. Ever say, I'm a woman from a real woman next story. Now, somewhere last year, MPP, I'm a your corner pen pam and go for be a free party in the moon, a be a hobson, a doye, a samoa boa bain, and then go for be a warm kicker, a hobson, a doye, or rank as a moon, and you're no one him so. Who would you make Obi Munas a winning one mumbra, winning one more constituent, one more constitutioner? Yam from Nancy one or yet. Oh, yet you try ya or him so. Yen ye, yen pp pray, presidential pray, candidate. I just want no bejina, and yam my MPP among your corner. And not done in the whole while, and I'll call Alan Kojo chairman team. And I'll see you, my dear. Alan Kojo Tramantini ni pa jase midi e me tu me aba e de ama ne ba ne presidential. Ne ba ne prime minister di a di e MPP4. Ebe yi no e de ama mi no no na me tu aba no e de ama no. E mkwa fubi ya wu amu ke kano MPP ya mwenye kwenbe hun sa anu amuse. Ah! Na de na branti ya ne pa chile no. Na chase ye yi mba wu miyana ye yi ya kwa kwa yi yi no ba wu miyana mwomu hun ne mwomu fane yi shi wu hun. E nun ti na wuwe tu miye fi ye ye chi ya kwa kwa di ala ne chi di a. E ni MPP ya mwenye kwenbe hun. Ya pa mu mu yina e di e fri mo. Ende asamu wa bu wabe ya babo nti ya babe kasa no chile se. He! O fi ya pipi ya mwenye kwenye ni mwenye hun. Ne kala no kwa ato ato so no. Ne hun ya ya fe no. Na aja so wwe pipi pati ni mwenye na e fi e fi kabo di no. Ne so e bre o fi ya pipi pati ni mwenye kodi ala ne chidi e. Ne skin no et es blanken. Da skin es blanken. O bibe si e blanken. Mama yako na yako tiye asamu abu abeni enu munsem emrasi siya. But of a one and kasano, who friend people mu affect you in any way? We nam fufum wa busiem wa our life. The obia kachebi answer be why effect. Hahaha. 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 So utu umoche, se uji doma ni mwa. Asudi eda osono, esu che di onono, udi wechi. Efi se, ube sumdi udi wechi no. Amu onono ure. Nani da suwa, kituwa ni kura nono, abem. Inti asudi eda osono se, ube timi achile domno umdi wechi no kwen. Na, uu chile domno umdi wechi ni kwen. Na se sebi uu. Sebi, kwa mpano huu ni mdiye ni ishe ni bitu sinia. Enye mre. Enye mre. Suwa te asi. Kwa usu uti michile domno. Bro, ni se, principles. Nyi na suwa pinti ni. Ok. Wu na mna ukule nyi na suwa pinti ni ya. Tebwa. Wasumjuye. Enena wapati mna wabre. Uda, uda. Uda, uda. 
And they say, me me tiha no, me da me ede, me da. If the movement, no, the fact that me me nina so pinti me frame, me me say, I don't ever boa. Okay. I don't move do many years. I say say me do on kind no. I don't na. I do on move. Sa kwa ni I do on move faswa. Movement kwa ni I do on move faswa. I be boa omo. It me da, but we move fine. Yeah, asa mo boa be ena yekoti eno eba yenintro ti ene dia. Na chesa uo baby wo hu na baby a wo wano kwa ne yehu sa sun faswa. Na ufru ho no ma e ya di e te se buwa ye papa pa nchi wando ufru mpipi ya wanyo kuwa ni mudie E nya di a wenu ni hunde biya rada E usuwa sabe de mo e tuwa suwa Na che se sabre di e Sofu che aboso men so e din sembi ya babo Nti a che se sofu che aboso men e chile se Ono ne pati gumu ni di e ye opin tu obi ya Obi ya beti miya babo joy ne pati no E nu ti no Se alan kojo she manten e ye na ajen se Ope so obeka onu gumu pati ni hunde ya on stop in the beer rider or be embracing no. Now just woman in Iya ba kuno me to me a breaky a pipi down and the sit down no me to me about the lady. Oh my God! Now in 2024, but said that ne so no bums of which I was some no. I'm quite joining Alan Kojo Chairman saying the any idea no cry the. I be ye ye the beer rider so so no the wabe mu pay. Wa stand up and stand up, yeah, Kwano. Or toso Ted. Or nim send ye niyama ni niye nu susi fatiye. But ye show bit say Alan kojo chairman tiya. If ye answer na watch Trinity, inti so no gum ne kaso ko join ni Alan diya. E nyadi diya bebo. Ba se Alan be jia tum. No a baba join ni diya ya diya bebo ayye papa. Pa mama ye nko na ye nko tiye ni numun seven so emra se siya. And you wish you saw any Alan. And I can say, so, so make any move, say, or be joining Guma, uh, any problem, any problem. But you're not so cast about joining movement. Uh. Yeah, me me could join movement at uh, M1. Uh, the entire mummy can say, me will form a chain. My co, I bet to some means, what I say, in the Padomo name, me no, I support him no door so. Only they say, oh, free, a baby no general. Foundation is to see from and chair and to see only part be don't be na a duchy. No children say, Oh, say be any part a town of Duchia. Don't have that fit to say you are born because that is not Ghana. Ghana is very wide as so. And you know, Nipadu will be duchia, a beer and cassay, Makofa, a year for a summer for Makofa, a little load of cast. Neighbor, be good street, you near your mafri, a hack of the circle, the good food in the chair. Men can say, Well, we cause near no nigana. What I say, if you can say, and you won't push in an obano, and I do it, you know, never so many to do say. And tea, never make a train a for say, I'll answer my tenony, a carrying a pony, and I say, Yeah, more to me on the do. And you put two hundred and twenty. What I say, echo to our mom. Now be not thirty seven percent, now be no way, and I say, I can control that policies. No, 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 no. Where's our mistake? Because the number of people that went for voting process, no, there are few people. In no, even seven previous, a thousand people. And you say, Oh, to honor, oh, my no, my old team, you are the same, you are a champion in the nation. No, go for the way to do to your side. You are wasting your time. And to me, no, you are a man of woman in Shikukra. Oh, Debbie. And I can see she can because oh no no, uh, do say go for fun as every day, but you know, they quit to the number of people that follow me, you know, and every day in your pen. And now, uh, uh, you see, about about the approval, everything, what I say, and now, me no, uh, in the EC call, I feel you about being a vice president. And this is a baby, now, and I'm by also, and she was on me and come on me and queen, so papa, and then you're over, PM, and I found so don't give me a quack, good. And we are such a running mate. Oh, why not? Say me make any decision. The decision I'm making here is me present called Banya running mate. But if say uh, I opt for Alan Dance, I'm call for uh, any other person because uh, or yeah, uh, Obia. Then some Obia wants him to carry a fire baby. Say baby don't even have any message for the 2024 election. No? And the crime on the plus. Because uh, uh, I'm aware that they don't have any message, and since it comes out to prove or uh, approve those things, which I say, or oh, is sincere. I was some and I have quite a lot of no abandoning to end here. And we also in Yaya go before Bana. I was saying when I'm so Bana just a chap with some person who didn't hear running mate. I am me. I'm not sure. But they are monitoring that now. 
Me no abana chabu so make an assam so wa be fam se eh ne running mates. But chabu so maso ka se mbi asan ya mede. O se san ko de be fam me so mbom se running mates no. Na se Alan ko joche mate ba no ajitu mu se o ne ne be ye djuma de a obeyi mesin chen na cheso ne Alan akọ. But me so mbom de e ka me nko an. Anka sa anka kra na wo mu ko independent eh gum e kwa don ko kwa dem this year there i am not sure cpp ni pa wo mu be yi na ba ene alan ko je chairman think wo mu ina so no hu anka wo mu ka wo mu hu bo mu se ni pa ba ko na wo mu so wo mu ti wo mu member of parliament e wo every constituency oh na ka npp and ndc no yes sake wo mu fe fri abe mu na sa independent candidate ni nya no wo mu ba as one i don't know say bi obi wo ho no ma no me be ya adwe o no me ya adwe abeti mi a chew comment section na say Eddie, I'm a woman. Me nyia join so about to me a chat comment section. I say Eddie, I'm a me. But me personally, dear, I think that's a sad year. No kuswa. A bet me a boy here, Papa Papa. It's not say yeah. Sure, Rollins time match. I say a be here. MPP, NDC, MPP, NDC, MPP. Balance one man boy. I need a kofa NDC. NDC for the akoye. I need a star kofa MPP. I say a kuswa, kuswa, kuswa. But me me want to say say yeah. Pamis an kofa we ni na di free ho. Now you to me a funny powerful fraudster. So you independent candidates. I'm not saying independent candidates, you know. We only need a car. We only want to buy some barco. No, we want to buy a big one. I'm French. I think so. It is one of the things I bet to me a boy in here, Papa Papa. My next story. My next story, no. Eh, Mahama Baba on Tia Baba. Because Mahama say. Ono no ati so de che se juma che so ye wo mai mu e sika che so di bi si e si e ye e o di bi tutu tutu banks ni bi ni adi e ye o mai ni sika o e ye o no ni sika o mai ni sika che se o di bi si e si e ye no e no na ande NPP amanyo kwo ne ba ye no wo ma sha si a che se wo mu di di hu se we we o mai no na e wo mu ko we che a de bi ano o mu de no e na Mahama left this economy in a bad state Mahama did this Mahama did that Mahama did this wo so wa bre NPP amanyo kwo no e ne Mahama did this Mahama did that no na ono Mahama che so ba ya na se bra na o te ekunya ne so no niema bi wo ho no ma che so ye ye aboa NPP amanyo kwo ne ma nde e no na NPP amanyo kwo no wo mu di di hu e de yi e ba wo mi aba na ba wo mi aba friend incompetent ni ade na so wo ba wo mi e kura na wo so ye economy still kura ye de economy kura de ahye wo sanu kura no ye hu ne left hu ne right wo kura so kura yi before asa na npp ama ye ko tumi aba beti ne ko nje so mo sha ye aba so mo ba kwa de a 1 dollar be kwa 1 cedis na so ende 1 dollar e de ya kwa ko pm wo 11 to 12 ghana cedis me kai se somewhere last year or the last 2 years e 1 dollar no kura e ko ya ko do 16 ghana cedis 1 dollar e ko ya ko du ho ene nya me hu ye mobo ene te ba ka kra ka kra ka kra ka so mo ba su yi na 1 dollar ye for cedis ye ka mo si bu e ma ye nka enti le mahama say e bi bi ama nyoku onu mu nja sade na mo keka e na oba ye na oja economy e the economy was in a bad shape ni ade mu bom na mo ba ye ajese mo ba be wi wi economy ni kwa mo ma ye nko na ye nko tie mahama so emra sesi a we let mahama left the mess we came and repaired your mess before I left office, the IMF said that Ghana's economy was going to grow by 8%. And it grew by 8% and more in 2017. And in 2018, it dropped. When their own policies started kicking in, you look at the uh, uh, GDP growth rate. From the high of 8% that they inherited from me, the next year it went to 6 point something, 5 point something, until when COVID hit, it went to zero. So that myth about you left us a mess, you left us a mess. When you came into office, the Kufa Euro bond was left with 270 million to pay. Where did you get that money to pay? Mahama left it in the sinking fund because I knew that debt was coming up. That was visionary because I knew that if a new government came, I knew that if a new government came, it was going to be difficult to find 270 million at once to pay off the Kufa Euro bond. So we left it in the sinking fund. They came and met it. In October, they just took it and paid the Euro bond. And after that, they didn't put any money in the sinking fund again. That's why when COVID hit, we had no money to, to defend ourselves. I set up the stabilization fund. When COVID hit, they didn't know where to find money. We told them, go and look in the stabilization fund. I left money in there. 
went and took 300 million, you know, from the stabilization fund. I set up the Ghana Investment Infrastructure Fund, the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund, and I put $270 million seed money in that fund. Today, that's what you are using to build your Agenda 111 hospitals. So how can I have left you a mess? You know, they are good at propaganda. And so they just keep repeating something, oh, we came and met your mess, we came and met your mess. In 2016, for the first time in Ghana's history, we ran the government budget without taking one CD from the Bank of Ghana. Zero borrowing from Central Bank. You in 2021, 42 billion, you made Central Bank print for you. The following year, 2022, 35 billion, you made Central Bank pay, uh, print for you. And that is why today, Central Bank is broke because it made a loss of more than 60 billion CDs. When I was president, Central Bank made a profit of more than a billion CDs. And so that propaganda must stop once and for all. You didn't inherit a mess. You inherited an economy that was doing well. It is you, by your mismanagement, your clueless finance minister, and your clueless head of economic management team who now wants to run away from economic issues to become the champion of digitalization clueless economic management team and at a sub radio john dramani mahama what to to ja ede ama npp ama nyoku wani muja se debi ena mu ye de de na mahama mbe yeshe mahama mbe yeshe na shuni ni ama cha se wabaye e po a cha se wabade tu honom na nuna nde mu yina anu mu didi a cha se ya shoma nwe fi manu hanu mse ina a edi ugu fomi onwa ana daroma cha se sika wo dije dije ene mu pewe ni wa chile mu wo mi jesika wa hana mi yewe wa ha ne su mu wye che ya mo 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 mana su mi nde beda no wang tuna nade dan kwe kufu wa rudi e beda no wang frene jak toronto e san se di obe ye ma o man gane yina anu kranu Womu, a dear same lady, or back a chair, sir. Yet, even before crying, your bay, my baby, and ye knew so, and Gangani, I wash and tell him. Or send your copesica cock or cry, the book or sweet now cry, hide the Maya, and ya dear universe. I'll bet the papa to some good no more. Who decided, oh, my ass, what could be sent a cacras, or Kaby, dear, grow Kaby, Sira, Obu, one and there, what kind of idea to Adam, it's a machine video, be a or say, who said Jack Toronto. Me case to Jack Toronto D. Why will you be out the man and other than Quaku Fado? And people are my corner, dear. Eh, you will be see a woman by year be swimming to me and be in India, and I end this in so I be a woman swimming to me and be in India. But dear woman, I said, dear woot, dear child, not just one wire day, nine dear woot, and I'm a bar, may say, may say, may say. But what better now, so when I'm a bit of say, a cunna never horn on the same as a spirit to be the a church, I say, and penny for numbers for more better now, so I'm a cansem, dead degree, a trim, my dead two of anima or more. A could do a cherry, a yard as one cost now, so we are not to send your spirit to know, while she or my soul left and right, no, I bore my way, fed ya. And they are much fasting me from my yen and yen yen from bumpy and from a woman. A son said, Yeah, cost on it, yen yet, and you'll be a better look when you should be a better better. Nigga, anyway, wafa away. Wafawe, hey, your gun is the gun and we didn't say no. Yeah, cry, yeah, bless some yen in the fifth grand is the gun yen yen be. Sicker yen yen be. Now, one would teach him with the gun and sicker sigh. Menesto yam, a deba soon you cran. Woman, the gun is sicker. Sam George, a judge, I say, or Chandy was social media, you soon ya dean yen yena. A ya gun a sicker crow ya. Hey, a gun a sika crow ya national sports authority for woman the gun a sika. So last year, ena yenyan inti yese stone boy ene shatawale na wamu mi yenuni ba beyo program ewo akra sports stadium. Na ko wie chire no na cha se mente me hwasi bia ba bonte yese na shatawale ne ko buki ho first na stone boy ya ba be yen si chire ni adi ena mi yenyan inti yeso woman jamu adi ama stone boy. Na sike ya babo anti ya ya chia se wome jemu di ama stone boy ni siko wutu ya ye ayye 70,000 Ghana cedis. Na sumu ni mse enrada 
Wamu kwa tina siya chasa Sam George di mu tinti matu tu question se ni adie Edema National Sports Authority mpeni fuwa ni adie njine kwa uye chenu Se si ka Stoneboy Edema wamu ye 169,000 Ghana cedis 169,000 Ghana cedis Enu ni si ka Stoneboy Echi ya ye Nenso Ghana National Sports Authority fuwa Wamo be kachire ye nti be mufosa ye 70,000 Ghana cedis. Ena stombo ye tu ya ye. Sabe ye stombo ye nyamba bote be kasa ye. Ye gusuwa wache ye muso amra bote no me kano krese. E ye 70,000 no tu ya ye. Anase 169,000. E no tu ya. Muma yanko na yanko tiye Sam George no mwense memra sisi ya. Na esa jena wambo mini tamanye. Osi yo debi. Okay. And this tomboy boy be here show no seventy thousand or tia here no. Pitch ni say na moko say say ma say say pitch no say how ya say say ni na and I'm see you. And the obi here juma or ye unfast one thing na or ye show or ye or ye juma. Yes. And this say we see we pet the county na we pet the county and one thing na why ye na why ye no. Say ye suspended league na. So say me who say eh. I hear Namudi safety pitch, you know. So I don't say if you are seventy thousand now, yet you are, you are the thirty thousand, yeah, and a forty thousand is easy pitch, you know. And the and the day, you know, 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 Program no. Yes. And I'm a source now. Oh my, my information in now. Me the attack no. What I'm saying, sir. Hey, honourable. Yes, say on my way. You see, Aden. Then you can say stone boy three seventy thousand. Ah. What you are saying? What you mean, okay? Maybe someone say, and then how can I say honourable? Me me. But let's know. Me the me the me the Aden see the best the best. I'm see for send them because me they I mean nya who have a dance day they mean come. Yeah. Oh yeah. Some boy actually one hundred and sixty nine thousand. What? Me some boy nya kasa eh. One hundred and five nine and six nine. But tell me about one hundred and saying sixty nine thousand. Six nine. Six nine. Na papa no eh declare seventy thousand. Almost hundred thousand difference, but ninety nine thousand difference. Hey, oh yeah, uh, and now me who dreaming? I can say, me it's a move to me. Move fresh to boy na mo bisa no, but me me who contract me who me who contract na wamo ni ni signi ye no. The partner sendi me copy. The partner sa sendi me payment receipt you know. Who him? Some boy, it's your seventy thousand, sir. And also, it's another check of seventy thousand. And now, it's your final payment twenty nine thousand. And you would be born one sixty nine thousand. Na chasa semno ene ya kwa kuti ya bado Inti ya tuwa debia ya bakitina hanu sadi ya supampe ni fwona ya munja ya ni ya teletele wamu Imagine 169,000. Wama babo nti ya babe kache yese 70,000 no tuya ye. Na uti ye Sam Georgia 70,000 bako 70,000 bako ya kwa ya kawa ya yese ye. Enu mponu ya kawa ya yese ye. Diye penifuni jiwa ya huwa nise wamu be digane sika. Mwa digane sika ye diye 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 mugu suwe diye 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 na mwji wa sasi so. And not that I don't make a no. Sank and your woman be my acquaintance and I, yeah, for who be a. Since I know the Bible, man, the Bible, no, so I say, you see, and woman through Bible, no. Since your Bible, no woman through no. In ten day, your copes snap be, your park could be, nine day, your diamano, or can ye chat, or can ye goosa, near chap, who call it in your goosa, near the moja goofum. And yeah, we burn us all by the gun and sick out one pest one poor, eh, one pest one, eh, two cities, one gun, a crana, team. Near shady abacus were my emo. Mupa, mumma, yang yes, I did, and near shady abacus were my emo. Penny, be a robbery gun and sick a beer, team. 
Nianche. Out of thousand a hundred and sixty nine thousand. Now what's a free mukrana akase? What's a free mukrana akase? One more pocket is as a candidate go move to. Now my next story is one. Hmm. San a NSA NSA for yao. National Sports Authority for yao. Ye wo ya ne se wo mo so ma to kasim ye nu. Kasim ye nu na wo ma to no. E ya de a che se ba ba bo man yi mu. E de ye wo Accra Sports Stadium, ye wo Kumasi Sports Stadium. E na am pray pin na ya na most times especially Ghana Blasters e bo ba wo mo bo wa ha. E kotoko bo bo wo mo bo wo ha. E be de hardly do we see them say be a national team ne bo bo wa just wo mo be bo wa Accra. Cause I force e be mu ni say e wo mo bo Kumasi ha no say de a wo mo nya dom ni ade. Chase a cassi me and we are just a warm toy. Warm with the bed, Pierre Buoku, Master. And I drive or walk on a yes, you all kai de. Debiano Moba, Mopaku was poor stadium, sport stadium, me away at Chirehea. Mopaki cast to you all. And I NSA penny or down to see old Debbie. What top you were hunting the Moko Paki can and Momo Hotel Honum. No Paki can or hotel. Are they ya? Yes, yeah, young Robert, I babble to can the cop. Who talk a young woman, ya be bien real. Can a pet any idea, woman, we are it. Mofa can a sucran cratter, sucran farm brand, ye have felt dressed in sucra, be seen net. And no one's them cry and can hear you. And a busier, stone boy, dear, as I babble boom. It's a toy, be a yana, Sam George, or Jana say, or can I jia, no poey. A many eighty pitinas and a can be said. Ya sha or mine gana wohu, especially endi si amany yo kuo ni mwa. Womu wam bema se wonke womu jna as presidential candidate anka yomu dudu wana abe tu abane di amomu because we know they are very intelligent. Sam George Ejnim. That man is very intelligent. Before I said that papan beba abon te beba abe kasa wohu, na papan we suya di a wo evidence on him di oka. Sanka sankro fo we mu na ye hia wo mu so wo mu beba be jina e dia ma o man Ghana. Eye ya no fo ye wo mu so ya no mu didi Ghana sika ni ade Jack Toronto ni na busu afa just wo mu fashion hu no. Enye no. Mu de ma ma ya nko ni e kwoti Sam George no mu nsem so mra sisi a. Four sporting non sporting activities at the stadium Accra Sports Stadium specific Accra Sports Stadium in 2023 during the festive period 70,000 from Bennington Group then you had um, another 50,000 from Jesus unhindered interventions limited by guarantee group that same group paid another 35,000 another 24,090 so total about 250,000 did you launch this in your central the, the NSA's central accounts where all lodgements are supposed to go out head office or did it go into your original accounts in Kumasi? Mr. Chairman Partly was lodged in Accra and the other in Kumasi. Why? Why do you raise revenue in Accra for an event in Accra and lodge it in, in, in a different account in Kumasi? Mr. Chairman. The invoices we issue to the two um, do you have an answer for the committee yes Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. so I'm listening the committee would like to know why so like I said Mr. Chairman partly was lodged in Kumasi you've repeated that already I'm asking why Kumasi. the director general will explain why the direct, but you are the accountant lodgements are made to you so why is the director general of the NSA supposed to explain what is your role? Is it because he directed? No, he is the spending officer. So no, lodgement of the checks is different from disbursement of the checks. On whose order or authority did you lodge checks made for Accra Sports Stadium into a Kumasi account? 
That is the director general. The director general, chairman, the accountant is informing the committee that the director general instructed him as chief accountant to launch checks for programs in Accra in Kumasi. Director General, is there a reason why you did that? And and then you can do a follow-up answer because he said he went into spending. I only asked this best uh, lodgement. He said that you spent you spent the money. Why did you move the money to Kumasi? Mr. Chairman, I'm not I did not say he directed me to to deposit the money in the Kumasi account. What I said is, part of the money was lodged in the Accra account, and the rest was lodged in the Kumasi account. Chief Accountant, respectfully, you are under oath. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are an elderly person. I, I have the greatest respect for you. And, you. and the committee is sitting here. If you want to redraw what you said, because you, except you're saying I am lying, we're all sitting in this room. I asked you, on whose authority? Did you launch part of the payments into the Kumasi account? Your response to this committee under oath was the Director General. If you are withdrawing that, do so properly. I have not said otherwise. Yeah, but you just contradicted so, yourself. Yeah. Okay, then uh, why, why did you launch part of the check, some of the check in Accra and then some in Kumasi? Why? My understanding was Earlier, they made their deposits. Those first deposits were lodged in Accra. By who? By who? Who did the lodgement? Into the Accra. Who, yeah, who did it? Who did the lodgement? Myself as a chief accountant. And then, the other lodgement you did in Kumasi? The other lodgement was paid, was deposited in the Kumasi account. Yes. Not but, but my question is that why? The director general should be able to. Exactly. That's what you said. Yes, sir. Director general, uh, Chief Agantan, uh, uh, Chief Agantan, I think that you have more information. But because your boss is here, you are reluctant. Please, don't respond. No, Mr. Chairman. That's my observation. That's my observation. You have more Mr. information. Chairman. Yes. Mr. Chairman, like I said, partly was lodged at that. We and the rest. We, we've heard that. I'm only saying that you have more information, but because your boss is here, you're reluctant to, to give advantage. Chairman, so can the, DG, so can the DG now answer why that was done? Yes. Yeah, thank you very, very much, Mr. Chairman. I, I think I need to get this information to be very sure about payment because the head office manages all accounts of the authority, both region, head office, everywhere. It's ours. And obviously, if you look at the auditor's uh, reports, the, the, the um, assets, the re revenue across all the, the, the regions, some are in our regional and some are in the head office. He's indicated to me that uh, some payments have been done, some entered the region. It's something that easily can be traced. It easily can be traced. For example, head office occasionally, when we are in need of support, we make requests from some of the regions that are able to generate enough revenue to assist us. We Direct, also Director General, do that is not the issue. Yes. So the until issue I have, here, I have listen, listen to me. Yes. The issue here is that the chief accountant is saying that. Per your directive, the checks that Honorable Sam John mentioned, you directed that some of those checks should be paid to the Kumasi account instead of the Greater Accra or the headquarters account. And the question. Ebusia, na chesa semino eni ya kuwa kuti ya bana chesa om omai na yewo mnuwe hu. Ready asabo. There's a Obiya position, Kakrebia, no Bia, Peso Disco. Obiya position, Kitwebina. Nandy, I was all yep, scabbish, scabbish, Kakrebido, and Yakakrebi, Edishan Boto. Why, Nafia Sada will barbecue him? Why did you deposit Naman and Nan and Nan, baby? Sana Cassimia Noa, Tessa, NS for toy, Messa Bacon. Ayera, ye ni bebi ama akodifa ye besinde. E nosto Sam George kwa e kwa shi wamu wamu. 
Send a sepenin and a ton carned you, sepenin and I yet den you, Bessine, ye name baby a woe. Ye name baby a woe, it's ye here president, ah, and call bow on Wobet to me a shay about say, one a woman dig gun a sick and ye nan, Wobet you a mini now to another than could go far to call Bessay as our bono. Now you call ye to call no number and cry that you all made you cry no, as in the way you cry the end is time. Nanado dan kweku fwadu. O be shay ye sa abono. E mi se yi. Alan kwenye chairman se yi. E na so fa wawo tu mi abe ka se. O no di a corruption di on fwa su niti ni ya tu abano e de mani di ya. O be me kishyo se. Corruption hon sen se mi yina anon. O de be ba ne wye ye. Na wano me di di gane si ke yina anon. Mi se wano penu obi ya so fa. Nanado be ke ebi kura anon. Wento mi abe ye. Si si anon hon. Wano livi ye nti me mufon in the state se. E ye den pansi ye benye jidye wo parliament, eh, presidential candidate bi a wo ba. E sa se mahama beka the same thing wanye, nanado dan kwe gufo adu beka the same thing wanye, inti wan pan amo pa si ye nye jidye wo ni mu. Anamu ni mse bi asani wa my gana no e kono, e ye ye fenti ye nka ya nuntu mu ni ye nshane sa. E nun ye tu wa my mu aja sa ye ye second largest koko producing country. E ne ye ni ye kwa koto koko. Ewa Nigeria, eni kodivua. Na, ye ye koko ne, dena ye. Akati ati ye si soa na. Ye ye koko no, dena ye si. Mkwa fu ya kasa nwa hun. Udu wo mechi na wa nsha wo hon suwa. Trust me, you would every day talk against them. De biya wa nube ti ya wo mo. E sa nse, niye wabi wo honu ma wube jun wa jun wa jun wa wun ti ya siye. Na, Dr. Mahmoud ba wo miya. Ne kampe message ne jase sabre di ababe top form se tim. Na en se ma jase wa kampe message ni muno. En yase mke tu wakura. Mi anka sa menka. Na wanka kase ebi anana yase wana abe tina anu se de wakana ba. E yi ba wumi akura anu anka sa anyi na inti budi ya muma ye ina ye mfa ya sonko. Na ye mko ti en se ma ba wumi ya. E di tuja embrace si ya. Opportunity to serve as vice president. Eleven days ago, the party also completed its election of parliamentary candidates for the 2024 elections. Let me use this opportunity to also appreciate the leadership and grassroots of our beloved party, the MPP, for the seamless organization of the parliamentary primaries following on the... I believe the time has now come for me to speak to you, the good people of Ghana, about my candidature, what we have experienced as a nation, my vision and priorities, and why I believe I am the best candidate for the presidency of this country. I recognize that submitting myself to your from interviewing for a job, one needs to tell a prospective employer what he has accomplished in his previous job and how he can successfully deliver in the new position he is seeking, which is what I seek to do in this speech. Even though tonight is about sharing my vision and policy priorities, I crave your indulgence to broadly set up the context. I will first talk about the record of our government and my contribution as vice president before I lay out my vision. So I ask for your patience. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when we assumed office in 2017, we were confronted with an economy with declining economic growth along with several problems and challenges. A graphic description of the state 
of the economy at the time was provided by the former president and my main opponent for the 2024 presidential election, who announced to the nation that the meat was finished and the economy was left with bones. Notwithstanding the difficult economy we inherited, we had to get on with it and start to fix the problems. We started with a clear, decisive, and deliberate program to, among other things, stabilize the economy, fix DUMSO, fix the National Health Insurance Scheme, fix the roads, clear the areas, make education free and accessible, significantly enhance social protection for the vulnerable in society, industrialize our economy, tackle youth employment, unemployment, and empower farmers. Between 2017 and 2019, all the key economic indicators, such as economic growth, agricultural growth, industry growth, interest rates, the fiscal deficit, exchange rate depreciation, and the trade balance were all moving in the right direction. However, between 2020 and 2022, we experienced and no access to international capital markets. Ladies and gross international reserves and jobs, the performance of all these key indicators is better under our government than that of the 2013 to 2016 period, when there was no global crisis. When there was no global crisis. Let me give you two examples for the sake of time. You look at agricultural growth and the stronger GDP growth performance in 2017 to 2022 period is underpinned by a strong agricultural GDP growth, which increased from an average of 2.9 percent between 2013 and 2016 to an average of 6 percent between 2017 and 2022. We have done double what we inherited, notwithstanding the crisis. In the face, in the face of the crisis, overall performance of the economy in areas such as GDP growth, agricultural growth, industrial growth, trade balance, gross international reserves, and job creation has demonstrated resilience. Ladies and gentlemen, avail available data also shows that notwithstanding the challenging economy we inherited, and the global economic crisis that ensued, government has chalked a large number of achievements across the country. Due to the constraints of time, I will only be able to enumerate a few of these achievements. However, government will soon outdoor our performance tracker in the next few weeks, which will detail all of our achievements in every sector and every district in the Republic of Ghana. But I'll name just a few of the achievements. We have undertaken a major roads construction and rehabilitation program across the country, over 11,674 kilometers of roads, according to data from the Ministry of Roads and Highways. I am not aware of any government that has done as much in the road sector since 1992. We have initiated and overseen the construction and rehabilitation of more railways than any other government since 1992. Achimota in Sawam, Accra, Tema, Kojokrom, Takwa, Kojokrom, Manso, and Tema, Mpakada. We have extended the rural telephony network to more areas than any other government since 1992. 
we have increased the network from 78 sites to 1,008 sites. We have constructed more fish landing sites than any other government. Exim, Dick's Cove, Moree, Mumford, Teshi, Keta, Osu, Ekumfi, and Mfansiman. Ladies and gentlemen, our government has constructed more sports facilities than any other government since 1992. We have completed six new multi-purpose sports stadia and four ongoing in each of the ten regions, um, old ten old regions. We completed the University of Ghana Stadium in Legon, built... constructed more infrastructure and implemented more development policies in the Zongo communities than any other government since 92. The Zongo Development Fund has completed over 200 infrastructure projects in Zongo communities. We have also extended NHIS coverage to childhood cancers and hydroxyurea medicine for sickle cell patients. Ladies and gentlemen, we provided free electricity to lifeline consumers and a 50% discount to other consumers for a whole year during COVID-19. It is important and it is very important that you hear this, that between 20, 2009 and 2016, the average annual increase in the electricity tariffs was 50% a year between 2009 and 2016. Average annual increase was 50% a year. Between 2017 and 2023, on the other hand, the average annual increase has been 11.1%. This is the lowest average annual increase in end user. Gentlemen, I want to go digital now.
We were elected into office in December 2016 to solve many of the systemic problems and challenges that our citizens were facing and which we had highlighted in our manifesto. For example, there was no unique identity, no property address system, fake birth certificates, and so on. We had lived with many of these problems since independence. For me, to lead is to solve. Indeed, indeed, all my adult life, my biggest motivation is about finding solutions. Solutions that improve lives. Solutions that make public services efficient and accessible. Solutions that make society progress. Solutions that protect the public purse. Solutions that make our businesses competitive. I derive my greatest satisfaction from solving problems. And I have done so whenever I am given the opportunity and will do more if I am given the mandate to do so. I had long held the view that many of these problems facing the economy could be resolved through digitalization. In fact, in my 2010 book, on monetary policy and financial sector reform in Africa, I proposed digitalization amongst others as the way forward for African countries. So when we assumed office in 2017, as vice president, I made the decision with the blessings and support of the president to focus on the critical but underdeveloped systems that would expand the economy, improve systems, and create jobs through digitalization. Therefore, as the finance minister oversees the budget through fiscal policy, the governor of the central bank also focused on monetary and exchange rate policy, I focused on the complementary data and systems improvement that would ensure the ease of doing business and change the fundamentals of the economy, making it more dynamic and responsive to modern trends and the management of it more scientific and efficient. Ladies and gentlemen, I was thankfully appointed as chairman of the economic management team. As a subcommittee of, to cabinet, we do not have any decision-making powers, but I am very proud of the quality of advice we have been providing over the years to cabinet. As vice president, I was asked by the president to assist in solving some of the problems that were inhibiting the transformation of Ghana's economy. My approach was to help formalize the economy through digitalization as stated in our 2016 manifesto. This is why my office has had oversight responsibility for many of the government's digitalization projects. We can only build a vibrant nation if we have strong systems and institutions that work. Very soon, Artificial intelligence will transform the world. How are we preparing Ghana for this new phenomenon? I will now come to how we are using digitalization to transform the economy and preparing our society to be competitive as Africa is busily becoming the largest single market in the world with its 1.4 billion people. Ladies and gentlemen, a major problem that we had as a country was the absence of a unique identity for citizens and residents. With oversight from my office, the National Identification Authority moved very quickly with the issuance of the biometric national ID card, the Ghana card, to the population. The Ghana card project 
was initiated by President Kufuor. So far, some 17 million people have been enrolled on the Ghana card by the NIA. I would like to note that between 2007 and 2016, only 900,000 Ghana cards were issued. With the Ghana card, the identity of the people, even dead people, can be established using their fingerprints. With the Ghana card, every Ghanaian, regardless of locations or status, whether rich or poor, now can be officially registered and recognized as a Ghanaian. Before this, it was possible for someone to be born, live, and die in Ghana without ever being registered. Identity fraud, age cheating, football age, people <laughs> cheating on their retirement age, fake birth certificates, fake passports will no longer be possible with the Ghana card. Today, because your Ghana card is linked to your bank account and your SIM card, people cannot just go and borrow money from the bank and disappear and appear with a new name as used to happen. And this led to higher interest rates. The Ghana card can also be used to travel from abroad into Ghana from 44,000 airports in the world. The Ghana card is a major element in many of the digitalization initiatives that we have undertaken. That is why its successful implementation has been so important to me. Ladies and gentlemen, to solve the problem of a lack of a working address system in Ghana, with oversight from my office, we have leveraged on GPS technology to implement a digital address system for Ghana, capturing every square inch of land or water in Ghana. Today, every property in Ghana has a unique digital address, along with street names and house numbers. And finding directions to any location is now very easy. Ladies and gentlemen, we faced a major problem of a very few people having access to financial services. To solve this problem, I championed the implementation of mobile money interoperability. Mobile money interoperability has made it possible to transfer money seamlessly across different mobile money providers and between bank accounts and mobile wallets. Today, because of mobile money interoperability, you can transfer money from a customer of one mobile money service provider to a customer of a different mobile money service provider, and also make payments from your mobile money account into any bank account, and you can receive payments from any bank account into your mobile money account. Ladies and gentlemen, you can do this 24 hours a day. Apart, apart from in achieving financial inclusion, mobile money interoperability has also significantly promoted a cashless culture, especially by our market women and the business community, thus reducing robberies and attacks on market women and business folks on our highways. Robbers, armed robbers used to attack vehicles carrying traders, knowing they were carrying cash. But now, many traders don't carry cash because they keep their monies on their mobile wallets for seamless transactions wherever they are. Today, 
because of mobile money interoperability, you can also receive remittances from abroad directly onto your mobile wallet without the need to go to a bank or Western Union money transfer. Because of mobile money, because the mobile money account performs just like a bank account as a result of mobile money interoperability, over 90% of Ghanaian adults have mobile money accounts that function just like bank accounts. <laughs> Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have basically solved the problem of financial exclusion in Ghana. The State of Inclusive Instant Payment Report has ranked Ghana as the number one in Africa in terms of access to financial inclusion. Number one in the whole of Africa. Today, because of digitalization, anyone can do banking and digital financial transactions 24 hours a day. The data, the data shows that at the end of 2016, the total cumulative value of mobile money transactions was 78.5 billion Ghana cities at the end of 2016. Following mobile money interoperability, the total cumulative value of mobile money transactions has increased from 78.5 billion to 1.9 trillion cities in 2023. Therefore, between 2016 and 2023, following mobile money interoperability, Momo transactions have increased by 2,335% a 23-fold increase. This is why Ghana continues to be the fastest growing mobile money market in Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, the digital payments infrastructure that we have put in place is boosting e-commerce in Ghana. Businesses are booming over Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Many people who could not afford to rent or build shops are able to do business on the internet at little cost with deliveries helped by the digital address and payments using mobile money interoperability. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, e-commerce can be done 24 hours a day. Ghana. Ghana is currently ranked number six in Africa in terms of e-commerce. Number six in Africa, behind Mauritius, Nigeria, South Africa, Tunisia, and Morocco, according to ANTA. Ladies and gentlemen, addressing corruption in the public service, our approach to improving delivery of public services is to minimize human contact as much as possible. <clears throat> Therefore, we embarked on an aggressive digitalization of processes of service delivery across many public institutions with coordination from my office. When you look at the passport office, we have digitalized the passport office with oversight from my office. We, with digitalization, the average turnaround for acquisition of passports has been significantly reduced. And today, because of digitalization of the passport office, you can apply for your passport online from your home 24 hours a day. The digitalization of the passport application process has resulted in a major increase in the number of passports processed annually, as well as the revenue yield to the passport office. In 2018, 
The total number of passports issued was 346,911, and the revenue generated in 2018 was 11.8 million. By 2023, following digitalization, the passport office issued 751,761 passports with revenue of 94 million Ghana cities. The ultimate objective is to eradicate human interface in all phases of the passport application process, to give true meaning to the online filing and processing of forms. I will come back to this issue of passport shortly when I get into my vision and priorities. <laughs> then we went to the port. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, previously, the bureaucracy in the clearing of goods at Ghana's ports involved a lot of paperwork, which used to be largely manual. This caused delays, corruption, inefficiencies, frust frustration, and loss of revenue to government. Many citizens who had cleared goods at the country's ports had horror stories about their experiences at the port. With oversight from my office, the introduction of a paperless port system has reduced the layers and simplified the process, reduced the time needed to clear goods and the avenues for corruption, and increased efficiencies and revenue mobilization at the port. Digitalization has also taken place at the Drivers and Vehicle Licensing Authority, which offers two traditional services, driver licensing and veg vehicle registration services. And today, um, the office services that DVLA is offering can be matched well, uh, they are just world class. They can be matched to any other country. Ladies and gentlemen, my office also worked with the National Insurance Commission to implement the Moto Insurance Database. The objective of the introduction of the Moto Insurance Database is to provide more safeguards for the millions of Ghanaians who, trans who travel by road by ensuring that vehicles are insured. It also curbs the menace of vehicles with fake motor insurance stickers plying our roads and thus endangering lives and property. With digitalization of the motor insurance in Ghana, members of the public can now self-check the authenticity of their insurance policy by dialing a USSD code, star 920, star 57, hash, and follow the instructions. You put in the number, it will tell you whether the car is insured or is not insured. So, today, you can know the status of the vehicle, is the insurance status of any vehicle 24 hours a day. Today, because of digitalization, you can also apply for insurance for your vehicle on your mobile phone and receive your insurance sticker electronically. And you can do this 24 hours a day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, with oversight from my office, we have digitized the births and deaths registry. And we have just completed the integration of the births and deaths registry with the databases of the Ghana Health Service and the National Identification Authority, so that the record of births and deaths would be consistent across all of these databases. Starting this quarter, in fact, I will launch this in a few weeks, but starting this quarter, newborn children in Ghana will be given a Ghana card number. But the actual Ghana card will be issued when the child is 
six years old when his or her biometrics are fully formed. So we are bringing a brochure to Ghana. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the past, candidates applying for a scholarship usually had to travel from all parts of Ghana to Accra to take part in the application process. This caused a great deal of inconvenience for applicants seeking government sponsorships. The manual processes of the scholarship secretariat resulted in an inefficient administration of scholarships in the country. With the digitalization of the scholarship secretariat, candidates can now apply for scholarship from the comfort of their homes 24 hours a day and take aptitude tests and be interviewed by their own, in their own districts. The Ghana.gov platform. Ladies and gentlemen, to make it easy to access government services, I led the initiative to establish the Ghana.gov platform, which was implemented with oversight from my office. The Ghana.gov platform is a one-stop shop for accessing government services. So far, out of the 1,516 ministries, departments, and agencies targeted, we have onboarded 1,503 of them onto the Ghana.gov platform for e-government services. So 99% of MMDAs have been onboarded on the Ghana.gov platform. All payments on the Ghana.gov platform go directly into the government accounts to ensuring transparency. Since 2020, a total of 201 billion Ghana CDs has been collected for government on the platform. For services onboarded and receiving payments, you should be able to apply for and obtain any government service online through the Ghana.gov platform 24 hours a day. Digitalization has therefore dealt a severe blow to corrupt the corruption involved in the collection of payments by different institutions for government. The progress Ghana has made in the provision of e-government services is remarkable. According to the UNDP 2022 e-governance index, Ghana is ranked number one in West Africa and number four in the whole of Africa in terms of e-governance. And we are ahead of countries such as Rwanda, Botswana, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal, Kenya, and Uganda. With oversight from my office, ladies and gentlemen, digitalization at the Electricity Company of Ghana has allowed the buying of electricity credit on your mobile phone through the mobile ECG app. This has provided relief to customers who no longer have to queue for long hours to buy electricity units. Also, for people whose credit runs out at odd hours, they can purchase electricity credit on their mobile phones 24 hours a day. Now, for people who need a new service or a separate meter from ECG, they can also apply online 24 hours a day. 3.5 million people are on the ECG app. And as a result of digitalization, ECG's monthly revenue collections have increased from 450 million Ghana cities a month to 1.2 billion Ghana cities a month. Ladies and gentlemen, Ghana has a major challenge in the area of domestic revenue mobilization. The tax to GDP ratio is about 14% compared to 27% for South Africa and 34% for the advanced OECD countries. 
Most adults in Ghana are outside the tax net and compliance is very low. At the beginning of 2017, only 4%, 4% of the population of Ghana had tax identification numbers. To increase the number of people with tax identification numbers, I propose that we designate the Ghana car as the tax identification number. In doing this, we have increased the percentage of adults with tax identification numbers from 4% to 85%. It is now incumbent on the GRA to use this database in tax collection to broaden the, the tax net. Furthermore, ladies and gentlemen, with oversight from my office, the SNIT, National Health Insurance, GRA, Controller and Accountant General Payroll, DVLA, SIM cards, and bank accounts have all been linked to the NIA database, linked to the Ghana card. Today, your SNIT number is your Ghana card number. Your NHIS number is your Ghana card number. Your TIN number is your Ghana card number. The integration of the database this is allowing us to successfully weed out ghost workers on payroll. A biometric audit of the National Service Scheme payroll found about 44,707 ghost workers and potential ghost workers between 2022 and 2024. And this has saved Ghana a total of 356 million Ghana cities. Also, SNIT has suspended payment of 480 million Ghana cities to 29,000 ghost pensioners using the Ghana card system. Ladies and gentlemen, we have also recently integrated the controller and accountant general payroll database with the NIA database to eliminate ghost workers on government payroll. Through digitalization, we have finally been able to solve the long-standing problem of ghost workers on government payroll. Ladies and gentlemen, many people, including highly educated people, find the process of filing taxes complex. To make it easier and less cumbersome to file taxes, I challenge the GRA to come up with a simple to use mobile app to enable ordinary people to file and pay taxes using their mobile phones. And this has been done. Today, you can file your taxes 24 hours a day on your mobile phone. Ladies and gentlemen, in the area of healthcare, digitalization of hospital medical records, to make healthcare easily accessible across the country, we have overseen the connection of health facilities under the Ghana Health Service onto one digital platform. So far, all teaching hospitals, all regional hospitals, and all district hospitals have been connected and can talk to each other. The goal is to network over 90% of all hospitals in Ghana by the end of next year. So currently, if you are referred from a hospital like Tamale Teaching Hospital to Kolebu Teaching Hospital, you do not need to carry a folder. All your records will be seen and monitored by the doctor in Kolebu when you arrive. Patients will have only one digital folder wherever they go. Your health records can be accessed 24 hours a day from any of the 302 network hospitals. Ladies and gentlemen, digitizing the operations of the National Health Insurance Authority has helped to reduce fraudulent claims. The renewal of all national health insurance registrations used to take place at various NHIA district offices. This led to backlogs and long queues. In some instances, people slept for days at some district hospitals. These delays hampered the operations and limited the revenue streams of the NHIA. With oversight from my office, 
we have digitalized the enrollment and renewal of the National Health Insurance membership. Following digitalization, renewal of National Health Insurance registration via mobile phone can now take place 24 hours a day. And this has eliminated the bottlenecks that were there. I now come to drones. Ladies and gentlemen, I remember with so much pain when my father underwent an operation in Tamale Teaching Hospital. He was losing blood that night and the doctors were trying to get blood for him. We rushed to the hospital blood bank, but it was closed. I tried to get the phone number of the one in charge and made several calls, but he did not pick up. We were running against time, and by the morning, my father had died. That painful experience is forever with me. So when I heard about zipline drone technology that could deliver blood and other medicines in an emergency, I was determined to get it for Ghana to save many lives that are needlessly lost. I went to Silicon Valley in the USA and I had a meeting with the co-founder of Zipline, Robert Keller, and convinced him to set up Zipline in Ghana. When I announced the imminent arrival of Zipline in Ghana, our friends in the opposition said that the drones were for taking pictures of women in their bathrooms. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, previously, hospitals and clinics in remote and largely rural communities like Nyangosre in Afajato South, Afram Plains, Yagaba, or Yunyo had difficulty of getting medical supplies, especially in times of emergencies involving snake bites, childbirth, blood loss, floods, and so on. Many lives are needlessly lost because the hospitals are unable to access critically needed supplies on time. To address this problem, Ghana opted to partner Zipline, the world's largest automated on-demand delivery service for medical supplies. We've established six Zip line distribution centers in Omanako, in the eastern region, in Panya, Ashanti, Mampong, Vopsi in the northeast region, Sechiwi also, Kete Krachi, Enum. And Zip line has made millions of deliveries of medicines, blood, and vaccines to many remote parts of Ghana and has saved many lives. Ladies and gentlemen, Zip line services are available 24 hours a day. I should add, I should add rather proudly that Ghana is currently has the largest medical drone delivery service in the whole world. The whole world. What is even more impressive, more impressive is that the drone centers are 100 percent manned by young, talented Ghanaians. They are manning all of the drones. Ladies and gentlemen, in 2019, I challenged the Pharmaceutical Society of Ghana during their annual meeting in Ho to go digital and place all pharmacies in Ghana on a digital platform for ease of access by Ghanaians. The Pharmacy Council, in collaboration with the private sector, has completed the work on a digital pl platform for all pharmacies in Ghana. Basically, the National Electronic Pharmacy Platform will offer the opportunity for everybody through a mobile phone to upload your prescriptions and find out which pharmacies near you have the medicines. Secondly, you can compare the prices of the same drug offered by the different pharmacies and decide where you want to order from. And those orders will be delivered using your digital address at home. Ghanaians will experience the e-pharmacy 
platform in full operation this year when every pharmacy is onboarded. E-pharmacy services will be available 24 hours a day. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, over the last seven years, we have witnessed what some international observers have described as an extraordinary digitalization of the Ghanaian economy. But this dig extraordinary digitalization has not happened in a vacuum. We have had to put in place critical infrastructure to support digitalization. I should note that 93% of the NCA licensed fiber optic cable in Ghana Total license fiber optic cable is 7,234 kilometers. But 93% of that was put in place since 2017. Since 2017. In addition, we've implemented a national government cloud infrastructure, cybersecurity infrastructure, deployed the public key infrastructure, PKI, to provide another layer of security to students, to citizens, to support digitalization. Ladies and gentlemen, what is remarkable about Ghana's digitalization journey is that the various initiatives were implemented using local IT companies and local talent. It was deliberately done that way. So, ladies and gentlemen, if as my prospective employer, you ask me the question, so Dr. Baumia, you want to be president of Ghana. Can you tell us what you did for Ghana in your capacity as vice president? I will say in response that I have, with the support of the president, have had the honor and the privilege to be given the opportunity to initiate, champion, or oversee many problem-solving policy initiatives. Many of these include many of the digitalization initiatives that I have just discussed, the No Garanta student loans with a Ghana card, one constituency, one ambulance, zip line drones, Agenda 111, the Sino-Hydro Barter Agreement, provision of hydro oxyurea for sickle cell patients, Zongo Development Fund, the Bank of Ghana Gold Purchase Program, the Goal for Oil Policy, abolishing the filling of embarkation cards, Go Ride Taxi Service, the system to tackle ghost names on the public payroll, and many more. It is important, ladies and gentlemen, to note that many of the transformational policy initiatives that we have introduced since 2017 are being done for the first time since independence. What is interesting is that because many of them have not been done before, many people who think in terms of impossibility argue that they were not possible, but we have made them possible. Criticisms. Criticisms and name calling eventually gave way to reality as the nation is greatly benefiting from these initiatives. What we have been able to accomplish so far shows that it is possible for Ghana to achieve many things that some believe to be impossible. It is possible if we put our minds to it we need to break the shackles of impossibility and embrace the mindset of possibility. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now come to my vision. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as, as vice president, I am like a driver's mate. But by the grace of God, if you make me the president, I will be in the driver's seat with constitutional... I will be in 
the driver's seat with constitutionally mandated authority to pursue my vision and my priorities. So what do I want to do in terms of vision and priorities and policies if you give me the opportunity by the grace of God to become president of the Republic of Ghana? Ladies and gentlemen, in this regard, I have, been, I have been engaged in a lot of consultation and doing a lot of thinking in the last few months about the lessons of the last seven years as well as my vision and priorities as I seek to become President of the Republic of Ghana. Clearly, the initial conditions that we inherited in 2017 are not the same as will be in 2025. Therefore, my priorities will be different. We have done many good things, and I will be seeking to build upon them. My vision, ladies and gentlemen, is to create a tent big enough to accommodate all our people, to tap into the resourcefulness and talents of our people irrespective of our different ethnic, political, and religious backgrounds, to channel our energies into building the kind of country that assures food, self-sufficient, safe, prosperous, and a dignified future for all Ghanaians. <laughs> to create sustainable jobs with meaningful pay for all and for Ghana to participate fully in the fourth industrial revolution using systems and data. To realize this vision, we must have a mindset of possibilities and not impossibilities. The challenges we must overcome as a country are too important to let our political differences derail us. There is a critical failure of mindset that manifests itself in the absence of core values, patriotism, and principles within our society. We, we need to invigorate the can-do spirit of the Ghanaian, to believe that we can do better than we have ever imagined if we put our minds to it. For example, our students from Mamfi Girls Senior High School and Prempe College have won international robotic competitions against their peers in the U US, Germany, and South Korea. We must apply the same mindset of beating the world in robotics, singathons, and cookathons to every sphere of economic activity. We must believe we must believe that it is possible. This must be inculcated in our children from home and in school. This is why we are going to introduce a growth mindset curriculum in our schools to help students build critical skills such as problem solving, risk taking, opportunity spotting, and design thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, in the area of macroeconomic stability, a major goal of my government would be to sustain and sustain macroeconomic stability with low inflation, low interest rates, exchange rate stability, and low budget deficits. In terms of prudently managing our expenditures, to reduce the budget deficit and interest rates, my government will enhance fiscal discipline through an independent Fiscal Responsibility Council enshrined in the Fiscal Responsibility Act 2018, Act 982. The Fiscal Responsibility Act will also be amended to add a fiscal rule that requires that budgeted expenditure in any year does not exceed 105% of the previous year's tax revenue. This will, be, this will prevent 
the experience of budgetary expenditures based on optimistic revenue forecasts, which many a time do not materialize. Ladies and gentlemen, furthermore, my government will reduce the fiscal burden on government by leveraging the private sector. Under the two-term administration of my boss, His Excellency Nana Dodankwa Kufuado's government, we have put in place many social safety nets like free SHS, free TVET, and so on. With all these social safety nets in place, my government will now focus on jobs and wealth creation by the private sector for all Ghanaians. My administration. <laughs> My administration, thank you, will incentivize the private sector to complement government in the provision of many infrastructure and other services to reduce government expenditure and improve maintenance. The private sector will be encouraged to build roads, schools, hostels, and houses for government to rent or lease to hold. The demand for roads construction is massive, and this has historically placed a huge burden on the budget. I believe that the private sector should finance the construction and maintenance of roads through PPP concession arrangements. Also, the government will move towards leasing rather than purchasing vehicles, printing equipment, and so on. The private sector will have the responsibility for maintaining the vehicles and the equipment. With this approach, government can save very significant outright cash out expenditure annually from, um, from various items across different ministries, departments, and agencies. This policy will energize the private sector and create many jobs, enhancing the role of the private sector along with fiscal and administrative decentralization, improving our systems and the way our institutions function will lead to greater efficiency, cutting waste and ensuring value for money in procurement. The move towards private sector provision of many public services would create the fiscal space of at least 3% of GDP annually. This represents a major paradigm shift. Additionally, an efficient system of government will require even fewer ministers. I would have, therefore, no more than 50 ministers and deputy ministers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about our tax system. To increase government tax revenue, we have to reform and refocus the Ghana Revenue Authority towards broadening the tax base. Unfortunately, the pressure that is placed on GRA staff to collect revenues makes them focus on existing taxpayers. Sometimes, they even have to go and sit in people's shops to monitor sales a process known as invigilation. In fact, many businesses feel harassed by this process and the constant audits of their operations. So this has to stop. We must strike the right balance between collecting revenue and allowing businesses to thrive. Our job is to protect the productive forces. The World Bank has estimated that revenues amounting to 13% of GDP, that is 24 billion US dollars in 2023, are not collected because people are outside the tax net. Even collecting half or a quarter of this annual
a flat tax of a percentage of income for individuals and SMEs, which constitute 98% of all businesses in Ghana, with appropriate exemption threshold to set for, to protect the poor. With a new flat tax regime, a tax return should be able to be completed in just a few minutes. We will also simplify our complicated corporate tax system and VAT regime. To start the new tax system on a clean slate, my government will provide a tax amnesty that is a complete exemption from payment of taxes for a specified period and waiving the interest and penalties up to a certain year to individuals and businesses for failures to file taxes in previous years so that everybody will start afresh. <laughs> Tax digitalization will be implemented across all aspects of tax administration. Everyone will be required to file a very simple tax return electronically through their mobile phone or computer. There will be no manual or paper filing of taxes under my administration. Assessments by GRA will also be faceless. Faceless assessments will provide transparency and accountability. There will be no need to send GRA to officers to go and sit in shops. E-invoicing as being implemented by the GRA will be extended to all companies. Estonia, India, and Mexico provide very useful models for Ghana in the area of tax digitalization. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition, any audits by GRA will also be done electronically and facelessly. Furthermore, no entity will be audited more than once in five years unless anomalies are detected which the individual or company does not correct after being given the opportunity to do so. We will amend the law so that if there is a dispute about tax assessment, a binding arbitration will take place through a body constituted by institutions such as the Ghana Arbitration Center, Institute of Taxation, AGI, Institute of Chartered Accountants, Private Enterprise Foundation, Ghana Employers Association, and so on, with a mandate to resolve any appeal in a maximum of three months. This will not affect companies, however, who by their agreements have such arbitrations taking place in international jurisdictions. Ladies and gentlemen, with cuts in government expenditure, the private sector undertaking expenditure that would normally be done by government, and the new tax regime, the flat tax regime, that will enhance compliance, broaden the tax base, and increase tax revenue. With these policies, the situation we are going to face in 2025 is going to be very different from the situation we faced in 2020 and 2022. With the policy measures implemented so far, we have outperformed the IMF fiscal deficit target of 5% by attaining a fiscal deficit target of 4.2% in 2023. The new policies that I am proposing to implement in 2025 will give us the fiscal space to eliminate uh, tax, some taxes, such as the proposed VAT on electricity, if they are still on the books, the emissions tax, and the betting tax, without compromising our fiscal deficit. This, ladies and gentlemen, I want to build a Ghana where we leverage technology, data, and systems for inclusive economic growth. I want us to apply digital technology, STEM, robotics, and artificial intelligence for the transformation of agriculture, healthcare, education, manufacturing, fintech, and public de service delivery. As part of this process, it is my goal to eliminate the digital divide by achieving close 
to 100% internet penetration in Ghana. We have already made significant progress in this direction by increasing internet penetration from 34% in 2016 to 72% in 2023. So we've more than doubled internet penetration. The task in the next four years is to move from 72% to close to 100% internet penetration. It is possible. I want to see Ghana build the digital talent that we require for the fourth industrial revolution. This will mean providing digital and software skills to hundreds and th of thousands of youth. This, along with other policies, will create jobs for the youth, including school dropouts. In collaboration with the private sector, we will train at least one million youth in IT skills, including software developers, to provide job opportunities worldwide. Generally, there will be an enhanced focus on TVET education. My government will also support the establishment of a national open university, Ghana, in collaboration with the private sector, with a focus on technical and vocational skills, NICT. Ladies and gentlemen, to help our youth get jobs, I believe it is time to rethink the concept of the current national service scheme. My government will propose that those who, after completion of their education, can secure jobs will be exempted from national service. <laughs> national service will no longer be mandatory, and students will have the option to decide whether to do national service or not. <laughs> this will also encourage companies to go to the campuses to recruit annually. This time they don't go because of national service. Ladies and gentlemen, to prepare our children for the fourth industrial revolution workplace, I will enhance the repositioning of the education system towards STEM, robotics, artificial intelligence, and vocational skills to cope with the demands of the fourth industrial revolution and job creation. My government will make coding and robotics standard in senior high school. The foundation for this is being laid with the provision of laptops to senior high school students very soon. Teachers have already been given the requisite training. Following the senior high school, we will also implement a one student, one laptops policy for tertiary students through the provision of a zero interest loan with a 70% discount on the cost of the laptop payable over four years for tertiary students who need laptops. <laughs> Furthermore, to become a digital hub in Africa, Ghana's telecom industry needs more investment. The cost of data for the ordinary Ghanaian has become too expensive. It goes against the very ethos of our digitalization journey. The industry cannot continue to operate at the efficiency and pricing levels of the least efficient operators. The focus has to be on the best efficiency and pricing for the consumer. I commit to working with the industry players in setting clear policy guidelines that will remove any investor uncertainty and difficulties in business planning including the expeditious allocation of spectrum, driven more by the goal of enhancing digital inclusion and less by revenue consideration. Another area I want to tackle is reducing the cost of living. Ladies and gentlemen, a major priority of my government will be to reduce the cost of living. The cost of living in the world has increased massively following the COVID pandemic and the Russia-Ukraine war. Global inflation has increased from 1.55% in 2016 to 8.7% at the end of 2022. That is average. 
This is a five-fold increase. In particular, the increase in the cost of living has been driven by increases in food prices, energy prices, housing rents, and transport prices. Therefore, any attempt to reduce the cost of living on a sustainable basis must tackle agriculture, energy, housing, and transport prices. And that is exactly what I am going to do. I want a Ghana where we attain food security through the application of technology and irrigation to commercial large-scale farming. We will also promote the use of agricultural lime to reduce the acidity of our soils, we enhance soil fertility, and get more yield from the application of fertilizer. Ghana has an abundance of limestone to do this. I will also prioritize the construction of the Pualugu Dam by using private sector financing to crowd in grant financing. My administration will also work to reduce the cost of public transport between 30 and 40 percent with the adoption of electric vehicles for public transportation. The public transport pricing formula is dominated by two variables, the price of fuel and the price of spare parts. Electric vehicles do not use petrol or diesel, and the spare parts are minimal. That is what will bring down the fares for electric vehicles. More importantly, transport fares for electric vehicles will be stable, and the constant and large increases of fares that we have been witnesses will become a thing of the past. Under a housing for all policy, I will also have a major focus on the provision of public housing in the same manner that Singapore did. We will partner with the private sector to build large housing estates as we have started doing without the government having to borrow or spend. Also, the National Rental Assistance Scheme, which is working so well, will be enhanced to deal with the problem of demands for rent advance of two years and more. Ladies and gentlemen, as part of the effort to reduce the cost of living, my government will implement policies to have energy self-sufficiency at reduced cost through solar and other renewables with the application of market efficiency to the energy market. We will diversify the generation mix by introducing 2,000 megawatts of solar power and additional wind power through independent power producers to reduce our dependence on oil and gas by the end of my first term in office. Introducing solar power will significantly reduce the cost of electricity. The fact that the current residential, commercial, and industrial consumers' power is still neither reliable nor competitive is the testament that the regulatory and administrative measures so far implemented have not fully achieved the objectives we have set for ourselves in dealing with the legacy issues we inherited. Therefore, like the telecom market, we shall work to bring efficiency of markets and expand competition from the more private sector participation in generation and retail. With reliable and cost competitive power, we will attract more manufacturing capacity into the country, create jobs, improve services, export more products, and support our AFCFTA strategy to improve the participation of Ghanaian industries in intra-African exports and trade. Ladies and gentlemen, to assist in the transition to green energy, my government will abolish import duty on solar panels so that we can bring in more. I now turn to our natural resources. Ladies and gentlemen, as president, I will usher into Ghana 
a golden age for the maximization of the benefits from our natural resources like gold, lithium, bauxite, and so on. The key to doing this is value addition and Ghanaian ownership. We need a new paradigm in natural resource contracts. Some of the key policies I will implement to maximize our benefits from our natural resources will include the formalization, regularization, and regulation of environmentally sustainable small-scale mining. About one million people are engaged in small-scale mining in Ghana. Our goal would be to help grow small-scale mining companies into large-scale companies with capacity building and assisting them to access finance for acquiring equipment. We intend to create many millionaires in the small-scale mining industries. My government will support the Minerals Commission and key stakeholders to formalize the artisanal and small-scale gold mining sector with the objective of ensuring that activities of the entire value chain are sustainably and responsibly done so that most of the gold produced by this sector can be sold to the Bank of Ghana and be eligible to be part of Ghana's gold reserves at the central bank. In line with this, we will license all miners doing responsible mining. District mining committees, including the chiefs, will provide initial temporary licenses to the miners. As long as miners mine within the limits of their licenses, that is, no mining in river bodies and so on, as long as they mine within the limits of the ambulances, there will no longer be any seizure or burning of excavators. I will fully decentralize the Minerals Commission as well as the Environmental Protection Agency and, and ensure that they are all present in mining districts. Every Ghanaian small-scale mining operator will register under the Ghana Small Scale Miners Association with their Ghana card. We will, in collaboration with the large mining companies, convert abandoned shafts into community mining schemes. And we will open more and new community mining schemes. District mining committees should, would be responsible for reclamation and replanting and we will institute a pension scheme for small-scale miners like we have done for cocoa farmers. We will introduce vocational and skills training on sustainable mining for small-scale miners in the curriculum of TVET institutions and provide equipment to government authorities in the mining communities to undertake reclamation of land. Ladies and gentlemen, we will also set up a state-of-the-art state of common user gold processing units in mining co districts in collaboration with the private sector. My government will also conduct an audit of all concessions with various licenses and new applications. This will allow government to know licenses that have expired and non-compliance with licensing conditions. To encourage exploration, I will abolish the VAT on exploration services, like I say, to encourage more exploration. We will establish, a, in collaboration with the private sector, a minerals development bank. Just as we have a Greek development bank for agriculture, we will have a minerals development bank for the miners to support the industry. We will establish through the private sector the London Bullion Market Association certified gold refinery in Ghana within four years. And all responsibly mined small-scale gold produced will be sold to the central bank, the PMMC, or the Minerals and Income Investment Fund, MIF, and will be required, all the small-scale 
gold mined in Ghana, there will be a requirement that they are refined before they leave Ghana. We'll have to refine them before. Ladies and gentlemen, the increase in Ghana's gold reserves to support the city. Ladies and gentlemen, a major factor influencing macroeconomic stability is the consistent depreciation of the city against foreign currencies. This is usually caused by pressure on our foreign exchange reserves. Appreciably, increasing our reserves of gold at the central bank combined with prudent fiscal policy is therefore one of the surest ways to keep the exchange rate stable. Two policies that help to rescue the economy from catastrophe in the recent crisis were the Bank of Ghana's gold purchase program and the gold for oil program. The domestic gold purchase program of the Bank of Ghana is a program where the central bank boosts its foreign exchange reserves by buying locally produced gold with cities. Before this program, the total of Ghana's gold reserves since independence was 8.7 tons. That's the total we held since independence. This compares to 3,352 tons for Germany, 2,814 tons for the IMF, 2,451 tons for Italy, and 8,133 tons for the United States. It did not make sense to me that Ghana, the largest gold producer in Africa, will have some of the slowest holdings of gold reserves in the world. So I proposed to the Bank of Ghana to start a gold purchase program. The Gold for Oil program, on the other hand, allows the payment for oil imports with gold. So importers provide cities which the Bank of Ghana uses to buy gold and pays the suppliers of the oil. This reduces the pressure on Ghana's foreign exchange reserves and stabilizes the rate. Ladies and gentlemen, it will interest you to know that since this program started, the Bank of Ghana has purchased 26 tons of gold at $1.73 billion. The government of Ghana gold for oil program, which also started in late December 2022, has purchased 16 tons of gold at $1.06 billion that has been available for the import of petroleum products. Together, the gold for reserves and the gold for oil programs have unlocked $2.79 billion to meet external payments of the country in just over a year. These two policies have allowed us to build foreign exchange reserves and pay for critical imports like fuel, stabilize the exchange, and stabilize the exchange rate. It is important to note that the 2.7 billion that we have unlocked is almost equivalent to the $3 billion loan that we have obtained from the IM, which is going to be disbursed over three years. What is clear to me is that if we had started implementing these policies, say, 20 years ago, Ghana would be in a very different situation today. But it is never too late, and we have started, and we will continue. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, given the large amount of gold reserves Ghana has, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Ghana has seven large gold belts, strengthening from Axim and Winneba to Nangodi and Laura. According to the Geological Survey Department, the belts cover an area of 43,000 square kilometers, with about 50 percent, that is 21,000 kilometers, not yet explored. The conservative estimate is that the potential quantum of gold in these unexplored belts is around 5 billion ounces. This has a market value today of 10 trillion US dollars. My government 
will engage exploration experts from the universities and the geological institutions to assist in exploring our seven gold belts. However, if even only 5% of the 5 billion ounce estimate materialize, only 5%, it will be a game changer for Ghana. My government will provide the Geological Survey Department and our universities with resources annually to undertake a mapping of areas where we have gold reserves. As a matter of policy, we will legislate that concessions in areas with proven gold reserves that we'll find, 100% of those concessions will be given to Ghanaians and, and, uh, for, for operations. We can easily raise the capital required and hire the expertise once the gold reserves are proven. Our policy will be to build Ghana's gold reserves appreciably to reach a point where we have sufficient gold reserves to keep the, our external payments position sustainably strong. This, along with a supportive, with su supportive fiscal discipline, will provide long-term stability for the exchange rate of the city, and at the same time, reduce our dependence on the eurobond market for finance. I believe that the maximization of the benefits from our natural resources will help create jobs, improve livelihoods, and also improve the conditions of service of Ghanaian workers. I now come to industry, industrialization. Ladies and gentlemen, I will continue our policy of industrialization in areas such as agro-processing, cocoa, cashew, share nuts, and so on. Salt, gold, lithium, refining, and manufacture of batteries and automobile assembly in ma and manufacture. And also empower lo the local business sector, especially startups and SMEs, to drive investment and growth in Ghana, thus significantly boosting job creation. We must also protect local industry from smuggled imports that evade import duties. Ladies and gentlemen, special economic zones will be created. These are the free zones in collaboration with the private sector at Ghana's major border towns, such as Aflao, Paga, Elubu, Sankasi, and Tatale, to enhance economic activity, increase exports, and reduce smuggling and create jobs. Temaport will be fully automated and benchmarked to be as efficient as some of the best ports in the world, like Hong Kong, Singapore, and Dubai. Also, there will be a new policy of aligning import duties and charges at the Tema port to the import duties and charges at the Lomi port in Togo. Uh, which is Bua. Togo Alomi is our main competitor. This will reduce smuggling and tax avoidance. Also, for spare parts importers, duties will be at a flat rate per container, 20 foot or 40 foot, and that is what we are going to do. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now move to dealing with corruption. I entered politics to serve the nation. My passion is solving problems. My passion is helping the poor, the vulnerable, and the disadvantaged in society. Accumulation of wealth is not and has never been a passion or an ambition. This is why throughout my public life, I have pursued policies, especially through digitalization, to check corruption in places like the ports, the DVLA, the NHIS, the passport office, and the controller and accountant general department. So I have a solid track record in fighting corruption, and I have earned a reputation for doing so. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most potent weapons against corruption is transparency. 
Many, many corrupt activities are cash-based. Apart from the obvious economic benefits of moving in the direction of a cashless society, the literature does indicate that the more electronic payments are used in transactions as opposed to cash, the more there is traceability and therefore the less the corruption. I would like to bring Ghana close to a cashless economy in the shortest possible time. So far, the Bank of Ghana has made a lot of progress in this direction by putting in place a lot of the systems and infrastructure required. These include mobile money interoperability, merchant interoperability, the universal QR code system, GH Link, debit cards, e-switch, and Ghana Pay. We have put in place the necessary infrastructure for Ghana to go cashless. Recently, the Bank of Ghana has completed a pilot of a digital version of the Ghana CD in Seshui also. This is known as the Central Bank Digital Currency, or the ECD. The ECD is designed to work online and offline and will be launched by the Bank of Ghana in due course. In my humble opinion, the ECD with appropriate privacy protections will be the ultimate weapon in our fight against corruption because it will provide transparency, reduce the risk of fraud, robbery, tax avoidance, and money laundering since it will, it will be easy to track the movement of money and identify suspicious activity. The ECD will quicken the pace of Ghana's move towards a cashless or near cashless society. Ladies and gentlemen, to move towards a cashless economy, however, we have to encourage the population to use electronic channels of payment. To accomplish this, under my administration, there will be no taxes on digital payments. The E-11 will therefore be abolished. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Furthermore, to enhance transparency, I will cause to be published online details of all public contracts for public scrutiny. Ladies and gentlemen, in advanced economies, workers are able to easily access credit to purchase basic items such as televisions, cars, and houses. They are able to do so because the credit system works and it is supported by individualized credit scoring by credit rating agencies. In Ghana, a credit system is yet to develop and therefore life is harder for workers. It is my goal to make it easier and cheaper to access credit by leveraging on our data and systems, such as the Ghana Card, Ghana Post GPS, Mobile Money Interoperability, DVLA, GRA, the bank accounts, and all those to build an efficient credit system and a mortgage market in Ghana underpinned by individualized credit scoring and the digitalization of land titling and transfer. We look forward to starting individualized credit scoring in Ghana this year and will make it easier for Ghanaians to access credit at lower interest rates. Ladies and gentlemen, 
I believe that as when it comes to a national development plan, I believe we can find broad contours of a national development plan for which we can find consensus in areas such as education, health, industrialization, environment, and so on. I will support a consensus national development plan. Specifically, I will propose to amend Article 87 of the 1992 Constitution, as well as the NDPC Act, Act 7479, to mandate political party manifestos and consequently economic and social policies of government, as well as budgets, to be aligned to the agreed upon broad contours in specific sectors. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the current constitution was designed mainly for political stability, and it has achieved that. We need to amend it with the help of parliament to align it more for national development. In that context, I am committed to the process to amend the 1992 Constitution through extensive public consultation with key emphasis on issues such as ex gratia, the rights of dual citizens, elections of MMDCs to deepen decentralization, empowering institutions while reducing the power of the president. Ladies and gentlemen, I want a Ghana where we place an emphasis on values and doing the right things with the human factor playing its appropriate role in curbing corruption, bribery, crime, dishonesty, and so on. A culture of governance founded on ethical values, transparency, professionalism, and merit meritocracy to create a modern government machinery that exhibits more intensity and determination to impose order, discipline, and enforce compliance of the rules and regulations that are in place. In this regard, we will have a strong partnership between government and faith-based organizations. The contribution of faith-based organizations, for example, the Catholic Bishops' Conference, the Christian Council, Pentecostal Council, and the Muslim Council in areas such as education, health, infrastructure, youth development, and so on is very significant and complements government's efforts. And so we are going to have them benefit from many of the incentives that we offer to some of our external development partners. Ladies and gentlemen, I will also have a major focus on policies, tax, and other incentives to increase private and public investment in tourism, the creative arts, and sports more jobs for more job creation. We will build on the year of return, beyond the return, and December is gone. We will also introduce initiatives such as digital streaming platforms for our artists and tax incentives to make tourism and creative arts a growth pool. Tax incentives will also be provided for film producers and musicians. To boost tourism and job creation, my government will implement an e-visa policy for all international visitors to Ghana to enable visas to be obtained in minutes subject to security and criminal checks. Ladies and gentlemen, sports is a multi-million dollar industry, an enabler for the youth. However, we have not realized our full sports potential, and we cannot maximize the full potential of Ghana sports with the same funding module we have operated since independence. My government will therefore prioritize the creation of incentives for corporate sponsorship as a sustainable module of financing sports development and promotion of our national teams, including football, athletics, boxing, at all levels. This will take the financial pressure of government and also enable government to redirect more support to other sports disciplines. My government 
as part of a broad sports development mission, will establish the Ghana Sports Secretariat, which will be an agency under the ministry responsible for sports in collaboration with other sectors, such as the Ghana Education Service and Sports Federations. My government will also seek school-level collaboration with international sports bodies like the NBA and the NFL to make Ghana a hub for these emerging sports in Africa to create more opportunities for our young people. Ladies and gentlemen, we have already tried this with the NFL, the governing body for American football, which agreed to host in Ghana in 2022 the first... <laughs> which, which agreed to host in Ghana in 2022 the first ever NFL flag football in Africa after my engagement with them. This paved the way for 10 young Ghanaians to be selected to the United States to represent Africa in the global NFL tournament last year. Another set of young Ghanaians who were picked after the second NFL Africa football was also held in Ghana last year are currently in the United States to represent Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to build a nation that cares for the interests of the poor and the vulnerable, like persons with disabilities, the aged, street kids, lepers, cerebral palsy patients, and so on, in collaboration with faith-based institutions and the private sector. My government will also focus on special needs. To start with, we will recruit special needs teach teachers on how to work with special needs students. We will also more language therapists and occupational therapy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have secured visa-free travel to a growing list of countries for the benefit of our citizens and businesses. However, the acquisition of passports by Ghanaians at home and abroad has continued to be difficult for many, even though it has significantly improved. So far, Ghana has about four... ...rolled on the Ghana card, which is also an e-pass. To make it easy for Ghanaians to obtain passports, under my government, any Ghana card holder would only have to pay a fee for a passport. You won't have to apply for a passport when you hold a Ghana card. If you are a holder, uh, and you were invited to this program and then I say, uh, apply. Uh, it's louder more the idea you are trying to bring. Powerful. This is because the support any candidate who is coming to help us in this country. Thank you. So, if you, if you apply for your passport and pay for it, they can send it to your home using your digital address. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a Baumia administration will also prioritize the full implementation of the Affirmative Action Act as should hopefully have been passed by January 2025. Under my government, free senior high school education will continue and we will Well, 
Okay, my name is Abdurrahim and I'm medical to look at the very uh, the speech of the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. And we are hoping most of the they are put on these are just visible and it's something that is good ideas come to power. Not covered every sector. This is possible that uh, whatever they say as politicians is something that should come to pass. Mostly we can situations and we but then sometimes we do not do some of the things we want. Power is going to them. And we are hoping that most of the things that are said are positive and they are good things. And we are hoping that in case the Lord is giving to him, he is able to deliver as he has said. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, so far. I have spoken about the economy, the contribution, my vision, my prejudice, in conclusion, the choice God in is between Vice President Baumia and former President Mahab. It is between them. We have we have to ask. We have to ask our a number of questions making if you want someone you can trust to innovative and impactful idea. okay so go on that's the micro micro test to fight corrupt then your choice is doctor and if you want someone you can trust to work hard and tirelessly and selflessly for Ghana it is micro test micro 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 test micro who has a proven record to create jobs for okay no pas aussi le micro marche non a man or woman in this case we are to care of the poor disabled vulnerable it is dr baumia if you are looking for the man who has the vision and commitment to prepare Ghana for the fourth industrial revolution, then it is Dr. Baumia. If you are looking for the man who is to protecting and using our benefit of all, it is Dr. Baumia. Who will be more accountable to Ghanaians? A one-term president like my competitor, person who can look to the Baumia. Who can you trust to protect and improve three senior high school? It is Dr. Baumia. Who do we trust to improve the national health scheme and improve the quality of health care in Ghana? It is Dr. Baumia, who has demonstrated a commitment to the development of the prime community. It is Dr. Baumia. Gentlemen, many people. Ghana 
since independence. President Nanado Dankwa of a vice president not perhaps make a mark. I would let you be the judge of that. That I have never been president of this country before. In my for the first time to ask a precious vote to save you. In all humility, I would like you to give me the opportunity to become one of the most important presidents in Ghana's history. I have outlined in a that should put us on the right path and transform our economy. I know that many of us might be tempted to say that we have had many bright and even brave ideas before, and that will be true. Many will say the problem we have is lack of ideas, but implementation. Many will say the problem is gentlemen, I offer only what has guided me throughout my life, hard work, personal integrity, accountability, and selfless leadership. I am determined to make a difference. And with you, with honesty and integrity, with wisdom and decisiveness, pretty in as to what I want to do from day one, if you make me president. I, I will not ask for a honeymoon to cool off and think about what to do. I am prepared and ready to work. Give me the opportunity. You know what I stand for. You know my vision. My vision about your mission. I believe in the ingenuity of the Ghanaian. Together, in building a progressive society of possibility, open opportunities, and a shared prosperity. Born or poor, from the north, from the south, born Christian or Muslim, a boy or a girl. With support, God's guidance, we can win together. It is possible. Thank you for it. God bless you and God bless our homeland, Ghana. A big round of applause for His Excellency and the leader of the new patriotic party. Mrs. Palmia, please join your husband on stage as we acknowledge the responses from the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Ever see a Samino and a Quakotia Abano in Tinutia Bawamiadia. Now just a 2024 election on Yamia Dom, Nagana Fony Nan Muhun Mobo. Now with the Mukokro, but it's two Abaman, the dear or Baba Yan, the Papa B. Edwo mai mu edi ama ye nyina na ba wo mi a na na do dan ko egufu adu o papa no no o wa disappoint ye yo na na do dan ko egufu adu ama bia ko ye ni wo so na we an advice jidi e ben pa na apesi ye nya wo mu e na all this one say the who come pay message e ja odi aba be tum na be we na be we na be we no inti ade na wo am be kana be ye tole 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 de gana ka de be tue tue ya so sa I was saying, 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 I
me de ni ni ano e si me pa cho u pense m cho su kupo wa cha se a cha cha fo nu o do e sa so e wa bo cho ye pa 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 dia na cha sa sa bo me kan fuku ma se online media school e de amao we ye 100% practicals media courses a ye ye no e no e na e che gu e wa kasa fo ni nene dj in e wo msa so na social media e wo mu mcr e wo me na don shot in so e wo mi timesh e se o besha nene so e de ama me se kwas ba ako pe E na wudi ya wope wwe bi ya mi de DJ ina nkwa na mpise mi suya me pacho. Ha kwenye anu e wo honom. De hiyan ni se o beba abe fao phones for 100 gana sodis. Ye chua kwa yin e ye askwa ye ni ti ay amas. E na e di ishwe ni mnamba ya obi ya pa sebi ya obi sa ye mbi bi ni namba ni ye zo 5506233377. Anase zo 5507036109. Na ufwe namba si ni mubi ya. Ya beji bre na ye ne wo achuche e nkomo. Sa so e na we ni je e bi ya wu ye program bi. Na wo pe se bi ya ye be streaming e live e de ma wo. E wo Facebook e ni YouTube e nsu a me pa che no. So a kwenye a no e wo honom. Be bi ya wu wo bi ya no wo ma imu ni wo ma imu. E wo yi ya na se wo wo e de ni kwe ye December. Na se di e se first can first save. Iti ma che e se wo be buki e nte mini ya ba be streaming u program no. E de ama wo kama kama ye lighting system so di e. E de mu shon ko sa so e na ye kamwe si di e ni e fe ye pa pa pa. For any inquiries a na se bi ya pe se wo buki e ya be ti mi a friend wo zo 5506 3377 na one ye yi acho chun kwa mo. Me se distance is never a barrier when it comes to kumase online TV. Uko pie mo MCR dia na acha sabran te pa manuwa pictures ni video se chogu ye yi na no. Nen sa no e juma no no sa so e na camera die kwa jo sa pa mo. E na acha se ja wode to me swa ma ye kama kama se ya jis. Me tu mi abate na fidu yi mo hanum se yi. E den se mni ni aso ababe so me na so shon kwa so e. And I'm the man, the executive producer, Mr. Daniel Yeboa, and I'm the one who's running here, Papa Papa. So so, and I have an ATP, and it doesn't seem so a bomb. It's just that I'm so I'm betting on video, man. I'm saying, and it's not the same way. You know, so I'm just so more. And I'm just so I'm not naya. So I'm so I'm just brush with you, my dear. I'm so I'm the one who's running here, Papa Papa. My wife is so best subscribe. And I'm the man who's doing the interest. So I'm the one who's best section. I say, and I'm the man who's doing the best. So I'm the one who's doing the interest.